Friday, happy Friday. We're framed weird. There's a microphone in the way. There we go. Welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal, where we are actually physically baking in the house. It's 94 degrees in the house right now, but the Marco and Marie sponsored air conditioner is right behind me, helping to cool me off because that oven will be going on very shortly. Who bakes when it's 102 degrees outside? Apparently this guy. Who's baking along with us tonight? We are trying a recipe that has made the rounds on the internet. Uh, specifically on Reddit. There is a subreddit called Old Recipes where people post like their grandma's recipe, their aunt's recipe, things they grew up with. Um, and it's interesting to see how often someone will post their grandma or great grandma's recipe from back in the day. And someone's like, yeah, that was my grandma's recipe too. Clearly these came off of like chocolate chip bags or something and grandma just handed it down as her own personal recipe. Like she was a great baker. Regardless, we're gonna try this. This one is called uh, Nana's Devil's Food Cake. Someone's Nana made this Devil's Food Cake. Also, so did other people's Nana's, because it clearly came off of something, some packaging somewhere. But people are making it and absolutely loving it. It's probably 50% of the posts that you see. Well, a couple weeks ago, it was 50% of the posts. Nowadays, at least one per page when you're scrolling through on your phone. But it's regularly making the rounds still. People are still making it. I am a little nervous because I did see one person yesterday posted that they made it and it completely fell apart coming out of the pan. So I had success with the donuts and the spray, non-stick spray stuff. So I am going to try this again tonight, make sure it is sprayed well enough that hopefully I can just flip it right over and it comes right out. It did say to make sure it cools for a bit before you try to flip it out. If it's too soft, it will break apart, specifically if you're using a bunt pan thing like I'm using tonight. I've had this for probably 10 years. Never once have I made a cake in it. So we'll see how that looks. It's not a fancy one. It's just a flat circle. I think I got it at Aldi for a few bucks and just got it because it was a few bucks. I think I got it when I got my spring form pan that we used for cheesecake a couple weeks ago. So we'll see how that goes. I found a copy of this recipe on Pinterest and did add it to the Pinterest page. It's on the recipes I made on the show page or board right now. But the person who posted the recipe did not post any uh, frosting to go with it. So people have been doing all kinds of frosting. I wanted more of a glaze for this. I didn't want a real thick frosting. So I found a different recipe, which is also on the Pinterest page now on that same board for a chocolate bundt cake glaze. Seemed perfect. It's right there in the name. So that's going to be made with some chocolate chips, some condensed milk, and something else. I don't know when we'll get there. We'll figure it out. Um, we had to make a cup of coffee for this. If you don't know, coffee seems to enhance the chocolate flavor in a cake. I've never actually done it because we don't drink coffee. It's not something we think to make. If, if a recipe calls for coffee, I'll just move on to the next one. Chocolate cake's chocolate cake. It's good, right? We'll find out. Apparently this devil's food cake takes it up a notch having that coffee in there. So we busted out the coffee maker that we keep in the closet for guests and some coffee. We also keep for guests. This one happens to be 100% Arabica caramel cream. So hopefully you can taste that in the cake too and it keeps it up a little bit more. I've already brewed one cup of coffee. I put one and a half teaspoons of coffee powder? Ground, grounds? Is it grounds before you make coffee or just after? I don't know. But I put just a little bit in there to make one cup of coffee because we weren't going to drink any more than the one cup I'm going to use here. Put it all the way off. So we need some circles. Three quarters cup unsweetened natural style cocoa powder. So we'll measure that out and mix that with the coffee. I think I'm gonna throw that in the sifter just to make sure it doesn't get clumpy. Thank you to uh, Husky Tales 101 for the sifter. I have been trying to remember to use it and it seems to be making things a little bit smoother and better. Off. Cocoa powder is always so hard to level off. Flour and stuff is really easy because my container is big. The container of cocoa powder, not so much. So there's one and it's three quarters, right? Oh, we have an issue. Stream is back in better quality. All right, that's what we like to hear. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I'm just scooping out cocoa powder. Oh, all over the counter. Can you see Mooch on camera? <laughs> Just his ears and his arm reaching over. He's flopped. It's pretty darn warm in here. 
buffering, out of focus, I don't know! None of the above is fine here. Yeah, everything looks good on our end, so if you guys are having issues, just hit refresh. Maybe uh, change your quality setting on your video, I don't know, but everything looks good over here. Oh, I'm just dumping this all over the counter. doing this uh let me know in the chat what are your guys' plans for this weekend i'm actually heading over to my mom's house for a few hours tomorrow to get stuff set up for painting and sunday i, I will be going over there and painting her kitchen everything is installed she's waiting for countertops which should be this week so we're gonna go do some of the uh paint and see if we can get that out of the way Uh, PJ said I had to refresh. Did you get my super chat? I did, and I even, like, sang it, too. Did you miss that? Sorry. One time only. Oh, I had a super chat earlier, too. So Who did? Oh. Is it up there? I didn't see a super chat. Uh, way up there. Oh, yes. Helen with the E! News saying hiya. Hiya, Helen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. We appreciate it. Sorry, you guys chat so much. Sometimes things slip by us. I try to get them all. Dora says, I think I'm going to paint my bathroom. Awesome. What color? We're doing my mom's kitchen blue. We decided that's probably going to pop really well. She got really similar cabinets to what we have. So it's nice, bright, white, clean. It's going to look really good with like kind of a, a deep aqua -y blue, if that makes sense. Uh, Dr. Trace watching the IndyCar race at Road America and NASCAR at Nashville and the new SRX series at Knoxville. So much car racing. Alyssa's doing housework. Oakley fam Becky's working, cleaning up script and stuff. Liz is working. Lots of you guys are working. The little bits that stay in chunks never go through. How, how do we come up with a better technique for this? Try to get it to the side. No, something. I... <laughs> this seems to work pretty well. All right, so that's lighter and fluffier now. So to that, we are going to add one cup of hot brewed coffee. I hope I drink that. Coffee makers kind of scare me because I don't use them. Am I doing it right? Did I make a cup of coffee? Did that work? Let's see. Oh, it's just under a cup, but I put a cup of water in there. I guess I should have put more. Don't make coffee, I don't know. Can I just add water? Do you think that's the thing? I'm gonna add a splash of water. Added bonus, that'll help it cool down faster. So it wants us to whisk the cocoa powder and hot coffee together and then let it cool. So we are just about at one cup here. Uh, Lady Cat said don't add water, but I, there's already water in the coffee, right? Like, I'm not gonna drink it. I just, I think it's more important to have the right amount of liquid that I just poured all over the counter than to uh, have the right coffee flavor. I think any amount of coffee flavor is going to be fine. All right, I got to clean up this coffee. Oh, it went everywhere. Dora says it'll just make it a little weaker. Well, I don't really need it to be strong because I'm not like drinking it. I guess the flavor will be a little bit weaker, but like a chocolate cake just has uh, water in it, but you have the option to add coffee. So I don't think it's going to affect the flavor all that much. We should be fine. And hey, I won't know any different. And this is making messes with crystal usually. I mean, if I don't spill something, am I really baking? I'm just trying to get all the little chunks that clumped up when I added the liquid and try to get them mixed in here well. I will say that does smell really good. It does enhance even just the smell. 
It smells super, super chocolatey. Angela says, part of the water sits in where the filter is, like a tea bag. If you squeeze out the filter like a tea bag, you probably have a cup. Um, we actually don't have a filter. Um, not like one I can squeeze out. It's got a built-in, I don't know if you can see that, a little built-in basket thing. So there's really nothing to squeeze out. But thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate that. This is an interesting consistency and ingredient just all together. It's an odd thing that I've never experienced. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so then it wants me, it tells you to mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl and then start adding stuff to that bowl. Um, I'm just gonna put it in my mixer bowl. So then I can add and mix at the same time. It says to let this cool. I don't know how much it's actually gonna cool considering it's not very cool in here. Oh, well, Lisa, I had to clean up a big chocolate milk spill at work today. Oh, boo. All sticky. Uh, my last week of adventure says even with the built-in baskets, you're supposed to use a filter. Um, ours says not to. We never have. I mean, I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. But no bits get into the liquid. Everybody who's had coffee here says it's fine. I don't know. All right, so we want two cups of all-purpose flour. Get that uh, flour sifter out again. One ha uh, ha. Uh, uh. Two ha uh, ha. Uh, uh. Then we're going with salt, baking powder, baking soda. Tucker Trace says, some use pantyhose as a coffee filter. Um, he wants to know if you're okay because you're super quiet tonight. I think he's melting. A little bit. Yeah. All right, we want teaspoons. We'll start with the salt. A teaspoon of baking powder. And two teaspoons of baking soda. Oh, and then the sugar as well. Okay, so let's get the baking soda in there. Now, this week of interest is strange. We have the basket one as well, but told to use a filter. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you drank coffee at my house and we were supposed to put a filter in it. At least I had coffee, right? is two cups oh my gosh two cups of sugar we're gonna need more sugar I used up all my full measuring cups so we're just gonna do four half cups Well, Hannah says she was melting at work today. No AC for the first half of the day. Happy AC the rest of the day. Oh, the AC went out in one third of our building. We have three different uh, thermostats. My side's nice and fine. Middle's good. That one end, it went out. It's been warm back there today. It was bad. All right, so we're gonna do one. <laughs> okay, I only did one. I need to get some stuff out of here. David says, hey, Crystal. Hey, David. Thanks for joining. I don't know if I have to sift the sugar. That seems kind of weird because sugar doesn't really clump unless it's wet, I guess. Helen says 15 degrees where I am. Yeah, but you use Celsius, so I don't know what that means. Like, literally, I have no idea. I don't know what math to do. Do I double it? Do I triple it? I don't know what math to do. What is that in Fahrenheit? <laughs> When we started at six, it was 102 Fahrenheit outside. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Sorry, Helen. But uh, it's supposed to cool down and be under 100 within like an hour or two. So we will see how the night goes.
Okay, so we did one half of a cup of sugar. We're gonna do three more of those. And then I'll just whisk that together to make sure it's mixed well. Two, ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. Three, ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. Four, uh, uh, uh. Well, it's four half cups, not four cups. Hannah says 15 Celsius is 59 Fahrenheit. Oh my God, friend, can I come visit? <laughs> I'm afraid if you sent chocolate, it's gonna be a soupy mess by the time it gets here. We should try to plan sending things back and forth a little bit better. All right, so that's all whisked together. The next step is going to be to add this uh, cocoa mixture and then oil, milk, eggs, vanilla. So, get that out of there. I'm gonna use a rubber spatula so I can make sure to scrape everything off the sides because it is a really thick mixture and it is definitely sticking to the sides. into the flour. Jen says, I'm the opposite. I have no idea how to gauge Fahrenheit. Yeah, it'd be really nice if, uh, you know, we switched over or there's some easy equation to figure it out. I finally figured out centimeters. I think if you multiply centimeters by, no wait, divide by three, you get inches or roughly, not exact, but roughly. All right, so we'll throw that in. I'm not sure how this is gonna mix because there's not too much liquid going on in here just yet. I'm afraid it's gonna fling up everywhere. All right, we're good. This is gonna be a really thick mixture at this point. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of liquid in here. There's just the cup of coffee. And we added the cocoa powder to that. So it's thicker than just a cup of coffee plus the two cups of sugar, two cups of flour all that other stuff. So yeah, this is really, really thick, almost like a, a cookie batter rather than a cake batter. Oh, Jen and Steve T both said 2.5 centimeters to inches. That's not easy math though. Three's easy. See, and how do you guys know it? Like, they teach you how to cater to our ignorance, but nobody teaches us, hey, the rest of the world uses this. Here's how you do that math too. I don't understand that. Okay, so we're gonna go oil. I think there's a ton of oil in this too. Yeah, a cup of vegetable oil. So while we do have a lot of dry ingredients at this point, this is where we're gonna add a ton of wet ingredients to balance that out. Oh, now might be the time to turn on the oven, even though I really don't want to. We're gonna go to 350. All right, all clear. If you don't know the opposite measurement, like temperature, ask Alexa. I, I know, and we do, we absolutely do. We've been getting in the habit of asking Alexa for things. The problem is I don't want to ask all your guys' Alexas who I'm sure now are listening to see what we're talking about. All right, whole cup of vegetable oil. So if you guys wanna make this and you're not gonna make it in a bunt cake pan, I read it, it's also a 13 by nine cake or a layer cake or a ton of cupcakes, probably 24 cupcakes. So this is definitely a big cake recipe. You're not just making one small little nine inch cake. This makes a layer cake. This makes a sheet cake. It's a lot of cake, which I can tell just by the amount of ingredients. You could cut it in, excuse me, here I go. You could cut it in half, if the recipe in half, if you guys wanted to just make uh, one nine inch, you didn't want to layer the cake. The oil's not mixing in very well to the thick blob. I think I should add the milk and we'll see what happens with that. And Jess says, now I want cake. Come on over, friend. You can be here in like... Six, 
like eight hours, assuming there's a flight taking off soon. Yeah? Eight hours, I'll have a slice of cake for you. <laughs> she says 32 hours. Is that because of the next time a plane leaves there? I might have to open the next gallon of milk. Let's see if we can get a cup out of this. that jerk that just put the milk out with like a splash left in it. <laughs> this should spread out that blob a little bit and allow everything to blend in a little more easily. And we'll scrape the sides in just a second. Two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla. I had eggs, there we go. Uh, Jess wants to know if the heat killed Dan or if I kicked him out of the kitchen. No, he hasn't made it into the kitchen yet. Uh, he's dying a little. Crystal says, I'm eating ice cream sandwich because I don't have cake yet. So we went to Target last night and I was a little bit gluttonous. I did go through the freezer and weed out some, some ice cream because I know a lot of it's been in there for a long time and it does tend to get freezer burn. I think I'm gonna rearrange the, the freezer a bit to get the ice cream away from the top. I think that might be causing more freezer burn. What do you guys know about how to prevent freezer burn? I've heard you can put foil or plastic wrap under the lid and that helps, but I've not tried it. I never think of it when I'm putting it away. I've also heard if you store your ice cream pints upside down in the fridge, that helps eliminate the freezer burn, I would imagine, because the weight holds down so the air can't get in there as much. Oh, uh, but I don't know. I need to do something because a lot of my ice cream tends to get freezer burn before I finish eating it. So I came home and threw away a bunch of pints of ice cream because I got four new flavors. We went to Target. Target has exclusive Ben and Jerry's flavors. I'll show you guys those in a bit when I get everything into the oven. Uh, but we got some flavors I haven't seen before. Some I have seen before, but haven't had in a really long time. So I bought four pints of ice cream, <laughs> but it'll get eaten. It's hot enough. Uh, Brittany says, I put my ice cream in a plastic bag and no freezer burn. Okay, that's a lot of plastic bags for me though. Uh, ice cream should always be on the second or third shelf of your freezer. That should stop the freezer burn. Okay, that's a good tip. <laughs> Sam says, to prevent freezer burn, eat it in a week. That's hard when I buy four pints at once. Not gonna lie. I found two in the back that weren't even opened yet. That like, they're good flavors, so I'm keeping those. We'll eat those for sure. If they're not open, they can't be freezer burned, right? Uh, PJ with the super chat, thank you so much, friends. Says, it's crazy to think of all that is between me and Dan and Crystal right now. The miles, the towns, the people, their lives, the roads, and all the things to explore. All between me and this live stream. And you're right here in my kitchen. How cool is that? I think of that sometimes. We live in an area, and I don't know how common it is, like how far people are from airports, but you see planes regularly enough. Um, and that when I see them, I'm like, I wonder where those people are going. You kind of wonder like what's going on in their lives, where are they headed, to or from. Um, really interesting when you're on a plane and you look down and you see a, a spot this big and you know there's just thousands, hundreds of thousands of people living in that tiny little piece of land. And, it's, it's a whole world down there and you know nothing about it. Uh, we need a teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> Hello with the super chat says, Dan, put us out of our misery and pop in and say hi, please. Is that, is that what it means? They're miserable without you, Dan. Oh, oh, I just sloshed my really good vanilla everywhere. It's gonna be one of those nights. Hopefully that does not affect my cake baking tonight. Uh, Uncle Yukon says, only two shelves in my freezer. The ice cream goes on the bottom. We have a side-by-side, -side, so we have a bunch of shelves. And I know we did move the milk to the top because it was getting too warm at the bottom and that did make a difference. Didn't think to apply that same logic to my freezer and my freezer burned ice cream. So when I'm cool enough to do it, I'm gonna take stuff out of the freezer and I don't know, do something, make some room. Uncle Yukon says, I have popsicles from a couple years ago. Oh, so do we, we threw those away too. We had Angry Birds popsicles from when Blake was into Angry Birds, whatever that was. No, no, it was like from the dollar store too. Brittany suggests one pint per day. That's a lot of ice cream. No freezer. 
<laughs> Jen says, what's a pint? My ice cream comes in liters. I don't know what's a liter. That's the thing soda comes in. I do know that. We use liters for soda. Well, what if there's more liters of pints? I how have no idea. How many pints are in a liter? Hey, Alexa, how many <laughs> pints are in a liter? All right, so I One just need to... One about 2.11 pints. 2.11? Yeah, so they get 2.1 pints. Okay, so that's like a gallon of ice cream, though. A, 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 a gallon is four pint. How, Alexa, how many pints are in a gallon? That's four. One it's gallon is eight. Eight pints, eight. Eight pints in eight a gallon. Pints. So, <laughs> so they have a measurement of ice cream we don't even have. Which is more ice cream. It's more than a pint, but less than a gallon. But it's more it's ice like cream. It's like a quarter, almost, of a gallon, between a quarter and a half. I wonder if it costs more. What's a liter of ice cream cost? And then please convert the money. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about any other money. All right, so I'm just scraping the bottom because I do see, I should have done this a little earlier, but I was yapping. Um, there are some clumps down on the bottom, so I want to get those mixed in well. This smells amazing. It smells better than just regular chocolate cake. Jen says, I have to leave chat to Google these things, so thanks for the explanation. Uh, behind the Grand Adventure says, we put our ice cream in the door. That's what I was thinking of, down on the bottom in the door. So like furthest away from the cooling unit, which apparently, according to Blake, whose stepdad does uh, repair on things like refrigerators, there's not a cooling unit in there. It's not actually cooling, it's sucking the heat out. He went into this whole explanation of how it works totally beyond my comprehension, other than the fact that Refrigerators and freezers don't put cool air in. They suck hot air out. I had no idea. Doris says, now Crystal's going to put coffee in all her chocolate things, right? I'm going to have a coffee maker on the counter. People are going to be like, what the hell? Hannah says, I made more of the chocolate chip cookies tonight with, I'm going to assume you didn't make them with shite chocolate chips. I'm going to assume you use white chocolate chips, which is amazing. We got some Funfetti ones recently, and I'm still debating on what to put those in. Uh, Jess says, wax paper, parchment paper, or plastic wrap against the ice cream surface before replacing the lid. Yes, I have heard that. Um, haven't used it. I'm, I'm gonna try all of these. I think I'll, I'll try each one of them. I'm gonna move the ice cream for sure. Um, maybe try it. You know, I think I'm leaning towards putting some sort of wrap on the top of it over using a Ziploc because then I, I have, there's at least eight pints of ice cream in there right now. I don't even know if I have eight Ziplocs, but I have eight pints of ice cream right now. So I think I may have to try the, uh, the layer of plastic wrap, parchment paper, something like that. Keep the ice cream container lid tightly closed when storing in the freezer to reduce the formation of ice crystals. I do that. I do push it down as hard as I can. Just need it faster. Uh, store ice cream in the main part of the freezer. Do not store ice cream in the freezer door where ice cream can be subject to more fluctuating temperatures since the door is repeatedly open and shut. That is a good point. Buy less, eat more. Huh? Buy less at a time, eat more. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. Uh, can we talk about your butter thing that you got soon? I haven't used it yet because it's so hot in here. Butter will be soup. So... I don't really know what to do. <laughs> like if I took butter out ahead of a recipe, it would liquefy right now. This machine makes it not. Does it keep it from liquefying too? I don't know, I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> they didn't come with instructions and I forgot to go on uh, Amazon to find out. Hannah says, I like what Dan said, just eat it faster. All right, I think we are good and done with all the chunks. I'm just double checking because I really don't want there to be chunks when I dump it out and everybody's watching. But I think we're good. So I am going to spray the heck out of this pan in the hopes that it all comes out nice and smooth when I flip it upside down. is not enough or like way too much at a time and you just get this white coating. You just really want to make sure it doesn't stick. I 
I don't know. Oven's ready, so let's get this in here, get it in the oven, and then we can talk about the new ice cream flavors I found. Uh, Helen wants to know if her package has arrived yet. Not yet, friend. Don't worry, we're paying attention because if it is sitting out there and there's anything meltable in there, it will become soup. Oh, Because that chocolate will cake on there really bad, the cocoa powder and coffee. Cocoa powder is like flour, but somehow messier. Maybe because it's not white, I don't know, but it is just a super messy ingredient. You missed a spot spraying the pan. No, I don't think so. I don't think I did. It's pretty well sprayed on there. It's pretty glossy. Some places it's super glossy really hoping it comes out smoothly. All right, let's try this. That was all the ingredients, right? Yeah, pour the batter into the pans. Bunt cakes always remind me of like the 60s. I feel like people these days don't really bunt cake as much as housewives in the 60s did. And then there was like jello bunt cakes with peas in them and stuff. All right, I've made a huge mess. I'm not gonna wipe the side because I don't know how much it's gonna rise and I don't want to wipe off my my glaze of nonstick spray. Alright. Ooh, as it feels that hot of an air over here. Dr. Detroit says uh, UPS FedEx um, they lost they lost my package so I had to reorder and it cost two dollars more. Wait, hold on. It was it was a Looney Tune plushie from eBay. What, let's, let's, let's figure out what Looney Tune do you think Oh, like we're is. guessing which one? Yeah. Um. I'm thinking old school. Me too. I'm going Daffy Duck. I'm going either, either Elmer Fudd <laughs> or Sylvester Cat. My second guess if we're doing two is the alien. Marvin the Martian. Oh, right. Yes, that's yeah. my second one. So uh, Dr. Detroit, let's have it. Which, which uh, one did you get? Yeah, lots of stuff has been going missing lately. I ordered a Father's Day gift for Dan, paid super extra to have it shipped, express shipping, so it would get here yesterday, and the tracking never updated from FedEx. So I had to get on chat with them yesterday, and then again today, because they didn't believe me yesterday that it hadn't updated. Sergio. Yep, they told me, like, you just need to wait another day. And I'm like, yeah, but see, I don't have another day because it's coming to my work because it's a surprise, and I don't work on Saturday. But then I made sure, I took time out of my lunch break to get on chat with them and tell them my issue so that it could be reshipped today. And they said, we don't process orders on weekends, so it'll go out Monday. I said, refund my express shipping. That's, that's ridiculous. Come on now. Uh, let's see, did Dr. Detroit tell us what it is yet? Brittany's guessing Marvin the Martian. Sam's life with the Husky says it's weird when Dan's quiet. <laughs> what, cake with peas? No, Crystal, the Jello cakes. Crystal's Canadian, right? Did they not do that in Canada? The, the jello, was that not a thing? Do you guys know about the Jello cakes? I'm gonna show you a Jello cake with peas. I bet you I can find one super easy. Apparently this was all the rage back in the day. And it's not Jello like fruit Jello. It's like gelatin Jello. Can we get this camera for a minute, Dan? So they would put a whole ass meal in gelatin. If that does not make you want to vomit, I don't think you're going to like cake. Because this is disgusting. There's turkey, spinach, peas, carrots. Oh, it looks like maybe some string beans or something along the edge. 
a little garnish on top, a little blob of gelatin just for good measure on the side. That's disgusting. Has anybody ever actually had to eat that? Uh, Jess says gelatin is very different without the fruit flavor. Yes, but it's still disgusting to put fruit in, or vegetables in gelatin, no? Like, do you want your Thanksgiving dinner in a jello mold? <laughs> it's horrifying. Uh, Jess has made many dog treats with it. I'm not against gelatin aside from the fact that it's made from animal bones, if you get the standard stuff, and I'm not really a fan of that. But the fact that they would make meals with that, ew, that's disgusting. What if you went to somebody's house for dinner and they're like cutting you a slice of your entire meal? You no. Eat it out of the mold. I would leave. I would absolutely leave. No, thank you. <laughs> nope, I've got to go. Uh, Brittany puked a bit. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Put the calendar up there. I don't know if I can read it to see what's going on. Um, if you guys haven't seen it already, we did put a calendar up on our social medias to show you guys what we are doing each day of the month. There's a lot of live streaming. I think there's like 52 of them over the course of the 30-day month. Uh, this week we're making, obviously, the uh, Devil's Food Cake. Next week on Wednesday, Dan's going to be making us chicken and waffles. I still have not had Dan's waffles. You guys have seen more about Dan's waffles than I have. What I see is a soggy Tupperware container in the back at the end of the week, and I'm like, did you make waffles again? And nobody eats them, and then they get thrown away. So, Dan should make fewer waffles. Uh, next Friday, we're making ube cream cheese brownies. Super excited about this. I've been wanting to make ube something forever. Really excited and hope this turns out well. And the Wednesday after that, the last day of the month is paint night. If you guys haven't already, the link is in the chat. If you want to paint along with us and get the kit, you've probably got just about enough time to get it ordered, say by Monday, to have it here Wednesday. I would give them a week and a half just in case. Um, that Saturday reminded me that I was, uh, I was editing one of the Snowdog Vlogs videos the other day. And in the video, there was like hardcore sirens going by. And I kept on trying to figure out if it was here or not. <laughs> right. So I kept, I would wait a second and then keep playing it. And then it took me a couple times before I realized it was coming from inside my headphones and not from outside, <laughs> That's funny. outside the house. But yeah. Uh, Christina's had orange jello mold with shredded carrots. I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> no way. I'll try to bite for fun, but like we shouldn't have to subject ourselves to that. Nancy's mom made green jello, like lime jello, with celery and carrots. My brother and I still cringe when we think of it. Fruit and jello is great. Fruit cocktail, for example. Not opposed to fruit and jello. That somehow that is less disgusting to me than putting your turkey and your vegetables in it. Just my opinion. <laughs> Sam in all caps says that I don't want to see you making waffles, and I trust Sam. Sam is on my side, and she always shuts you down when you're when you're taking things too far. I feel like this time Sam's wrong, and my waffles, <laughs> oh, my waffles are like nine out of ten. The waffles, I will say, when I do see them after the fact, they look amazing, right. like Eggo waffles. So I need They're always perfect. I need explanation on, on these. On these <laughs> Probably, be I'm gonna guess it's because of the mess that you make. Because before we started here, I wiped down the counter, and there was still a crusty chunk of waffle mix on the counter. I left you alive. Thanks. <laughs> Didn't want it. Jim says, cream cheese brownies, yes, please. Yeah, ube cream cheese. Has, has anybody actually had ube out there? Yeah, have you yeah. guys tried ube? Do you know what it is? Have you heard of an ube? Uh, Doris says, did I miss it? Did Crystal set a timer? I believe I did. Yes, it's right here in front of me. Um, it says 350 for 30 to 35 minutes or 375 for 27 minutes. I hate when recipes give you two options. Tell me how to cook the darn thing. But if there are two options, I'll always go with the lower one because I'd rather cook it longer at a lower temperature than to risk burning the outside of it. So I'm going 350 and I set my timer for 30 minutes because it is a pretty thick cake. Um, it tells you in here to dump it into, uh, to pour it into the pans, plural. So I'm thinking this person, I didn't even look at the picture to see. Yeah, they made a layer cake. So a nine inch layer cake, two layer cakes is going to cook faster than one bunt cake. So we're going to go with the lower temperature and the lower time. And we can add more time if we need to. Uh, Lady Cat says, Ube is a character in Vikings. Sally's heard of it but never had it. Christi I don't know what Vikings is. Sorry, I never watched that. Christine does not know what ube is. <laughs> Sounds almost like pig Latin. Almost. <laughs> like I'm saying boo in pig Latin. Um, Hannah's never heard of ube. So if you guys do not know what ube is, it is a purple yam. It's native to the Philippines, and it's very common in their foods and especially in their desserts, from what I can tell in my research. I don't know. I've just had it, and it was amazing. Do you have some? Um, I will, I will get that in a second. The first time that I had it, I went to, 
No, I think I had it before that. The first time I remember having it, I went to a little place in LA and it was like a Japanese frozen yogurt place and they had four flavors. And we walked in and we were kind of like, mm, they only have four flavors. Maybe we should go somewhere else. And then we looked at the four flavors and they were Japanese. And you guys know that we're, we're pretty big fans of like Japanese culture food, stuff like that. So they had ube, they had, what's the gray one? Is that charcoal? I think it was something like that. Ew, like, what? like, I want to say it's, it was something weird where we were like, yeah, no way we're not doing it. Um, a green tea, maybe matcha, mochi, something. I don't, it was green. And then there was, I'm not going to remember what the other one was, but we were looking and the person behind the counter must see this all the time because they have this little tasting cup. Like when you go to 31 flavors and you get the little pink spoon, they have this little tasting cup and he goes, hold on. And he puts all four flavors in each of the cups and hands it to us. Like, here, I know it looks weird, but just try it. I promise you this is good. So we're looking at it kind of weird because one of them is literally like almost black. It's, it's gray. One's green, one's kind of purplish pink, and one, I think it was a white one. Um, so we were looking at it just like, mm, I don't know about this. The minute we tasted it, it was absolutely amazing. And we were all about it. And we absolutely ordered ice cream. I got the ube one and it was amazing. It was so refreshing. So ube has a flavor kind of, I always say it tastes like almonds to me. When I looked it up to see like, is it just me or is that what people say it tastes like? It's an almondy vanilla-y kind of flavor apparently. So it is sweet, even though um, it's a yam, which is I'm pretty sure a vegetable because I think it grows in the ground. It's not like, if you guys like sweet potatoes, yams at you know Thanksgiving, it's like that where that's kind of, Dan always calls it the dessert when I make the sweet potato casserole. Um, it's amazing. We went to, I took my mom to a casino for her birthday and they had a buffet and we went and ate at that. And they had a little sign for their gelato that said it was um, purple ube gelato. I'm like, hell yeah, that sounds amazing. Underneath it in parentheses, it said grape jelly. It absolutely does not taste like grape jelly. Just because it's purple, it does not taste like grape. I promise you, it is amazing. Uh, Brittany does say it's a root vegetable. <laughs> yes, almond extract, not vanilla. But it tastes like almond and vanilla, so it's a win-win for everybody. You can't screw it up. Lady Cat says sweet taters are gross except fries, which is funny because I believe the exact opposite. I can't stand them as fries. I think they're absolutely disgusting. Something about the flavor changes. I can't deal with it. But a sweet potato casserole or yams, whichever, I'm pretty sure they're not the same thing, but I think the ones I get are sweet potatoes with some pineapple and some marshmallows. Amazing. Um... I feel like yams are a real divisive thing, kind of like pineapple on pizza, where you either love them or you hate them. Dan and I are the only ones that eat them, so when we make them for Thanksgiving, we get down on it. Blake doesn't like it, my mom doesn't like it. Do the other ones taste the same? The purple ones? No. No, they don't. You'll see, you're gonna taste this flavor. So, I ordered ube extract on Amazon thinking like, oh, I just need this, right? You just need the flavoring. And then in talking to Dan's cousin Katie and looking into recipes, I realized that was not enough. So we do have a local Filipino store here. So we went and searched around there and they have purple yam jam, which is really fun to say. And I kind of want to make a sandwich out of it. <laughs> I think that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, if you guys have a international food store, a Filipino store, anything like that, you can search for these ingredients and see if they have them. They actually had several ube options at the Filipino store. If not, you can find both of these online. They might be a little pricier. The, the ube extract was definitely cheaper at the local store. So your mileage may vary, but I highly recommend you guys try these. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I want to do the purple yam jam, again, fun to say, on some toast, just like butter and purple yam jam. I think that would be amazing. What you doing? Just getting cold in the fridge? Yeah, <laughs> Sam with the super chat says, shh, Dan, what happens on Waffle Wednesday stays on Waffles Wednesday. I've been, trying to, I've been trying to teach the audience not to snitch on me anymore. Oh yeah, I'm sure you get into all kinds of stuff that I don't want to know about. Uh, Dr. Detroit says, I think there's a Japanese treats box you can get delivered with different sweets from Japan. I think Jess with Jamie and Greg did a video on that box long ago. Yes, I believe they did as well. We've had pretty much all the Japanese treats you can imagine. We have friends in Japan. Um, we, we've tried all the everything. We've searched out what you can find out here. So yeah, th it's hard to shock us with Japanese treats. I will say they're definitely not as sweet as what we have here. Um, most of them are still pretty decent, but I like sweeter sweets. All right, you guys want to see what ice creams I got? I want to play it, but I'm just going to play it. Okay, I don't want to say it. Yes, yes, it is. So there's more.
more in there, don't judge me. <laughs> These are the new ones that I got yesterday. The first one is cannoli. I've had this one before. I did not open this one yet, but I've had this. It came out, I think, last year, maybe. Um, fan favorite. So Target's got it. Target always has all the good flavors. The grocery store out here has the basic flavors that you see everywhere. Target's always got the good ones. So this is a mascarpone ice cream with fudge covered pastry shell pieces and mascarpone swirls. Absolutely amazing. They nailed the flavor with the ice cream. It tastes like cannolis. I highly recommend this one. Did Dan purposely not have the fridge on cam so he could eat with no plate? <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> yeah, I almost would. Yeah, but I have to warm it up on something. All right, this one I got more for Dan. Even though Dan does not generally eat milk products, he will eat bites of ice cream. He likes chocolate ice cream. I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate ice cream. This but the only ice cream. <laughs> That's the only ice cream? No. I like the different flavors. I want my ice cream to have a flavor, not just chocolate flavor, not just vanilla flavor. This one is chocolate caramel cookie dough. It is chocolate ice cream with caramel swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough topped with caramel cups and chocolatey ganache. These ones, all the other ones that I got are the top ones. They have a layer of chocolate on top. That's this one has the little uh, candies in it, salted caramel filled candies. Um, Dan liked it. I was not a fan. I took one bite, not really a huge fan. This one, however, was the jam. It's called Whiskey Biz. A bunch of years ago, they had one called Urban Bourbon that I can't find anymore. Amazing. This kind of reminds me of that, but they totally kicked this one up a notch. It's brown butter bourbon ice cream with blonde brownies and whiskey caramel swirls topped with white chocolate ganache and white fudge chunks. Oh my God, you guys. White chocolate with this brown butter bourbon ice cream absolutely amazing. It might be the same flavor ice cream that Urban Bourbon had. I don't actually know, but it's pretty darn close and it totally reminded me of that. Sorry for those of you I'm making want ice cream. Get some ice cream. What are you doing with your life? You should always have at least a pint in your freezer. Always. It's, uh, it's frozen in the middle. Well, microwave it more. So your, your half frozen chicken burger it's hot out. made an appearance before Dan did. <laughs> It's hot out. I need it like I need it to be half frozen. It's so hot, my ice cream is like leaking. Um, last one I got is topped salted caramel brownie. Haven't opened this one yet, but it's a vanilla ice cream with salted caramel swirls and fudge brownie topped with caramel cups and chocolatey ganache. So it's gonna have the same topping as this one. You need taste test. The chocolate caramel cookie dough. It's already all like soft and melty. Let's taste test. Um, my last weekend adventure says need to try the whiskey one. I highly recommend it. I don't want to yeah, open. Yeah, I was them. so crunk last night. <laughs> you didn't even eat that. Dan took one bite of the whiskey one and was not a fan. It was okay, it's but... It's very you, you caramelly. Me, it's very sweet. You handed me the chocolate one? Yeah, that, I knew you'd like that and one then for that, sure. Yeah, that, that one took Sam over. says, I can't have ice cream right now. It's almost 10 p.m. Said no one ever? Right? That's, it's can, can, Canadian law. Oh, okay, yeah. No Canadians. Fun. <laughs> no fun after 10. <laughs> well, then hurry. Get your bites in before the clock changes. So yeah, I think that whiskey business is whiskey biz, whiskey biz. I think it was called. That's my new favorite right now. Do you guys have a favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor? I love Ben and Jerry's. I don't know if you guys have watched the documentary on it, but one of the guys made the ice cream and the other guy tasted it. And the guy who tasted it didn't know that he had some sort of like sinusy problem where he couldn't taste things correctly. So every time he tasted it. He'd be like, no, nah, I need more flavor. It's not flavorful enough. And the guy would add more flavor and he'd do it again and again. That's why Ben and Jerry's is so overly saturated with flavor because that's that's their shtick now. Of like, that's how they make their ice cream, but that's how it got to be that way. Christine has one ice cream sandwich in the freezer. She's resisting it. Don't resist, give in. Brittany needs to go to Target to see the ice cream. Yes, you do. It's not cheap. Sometimes it does go on sale where it's like two for five or two for six or something. Um, it's definitely not the best prices, but Ours, at least, has the best selection. They always have the new flavors. They always have exclusive flavors. That's amazing as well. Hannah says, I need to go to freaking Target. Yep. Yep, you learned it here, guys. I will tell, tell you where to find all the bootleg snacks. You know what I have not found yet, though, is those Dulce de Leche Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. I have not found that anywhere. Has anybody tried that yet? Brittany says my favorite's the chocolate with brownies in it. Simple and delicious. See, I need more going on. That's why I like Ben and Jerry's because they'll be like some of this and some of this and then we put this and then some of this on top and then splashed it with this um, half-baked. Is 
I don't like cherry Garcia. I don't like the bits of cherry in it. Half baked is my favorite, where it's chocolate and vanilla ice cream mixed together, and then it has um, cookie dough and brownie bits. So you got four different options going on there. That's amazing. They're all like not bad though. Like that's the good part. Yeah. Yeah, but I do like the cherry Garcia. That's fun. I wish it was just in chocolate. Dora says, I didn't know that about Ben and Jerry's. It's why it's so yummy. Yes. Hagen dazs has some really good flavors too. There's some Hagen dazs oh I'm gosh. really down for. Steve like was defending that. Defending Hagen dazs over Ben and Jerry's. To me, I don't care about the brand as long as it freaking tastes good. I really don't care. Um, the Hagen dazs white chocolate raspberry is amazing. Beyond the Grand Adventure says Cherry Garcia is my favorite. Dan loves it. I'm not a fan. Helen says Ben and Jerry's here in Australia is so dear. What's that mean? Like, is it hard to find there? Is it expensive? Sam's Life with a Husky. Oh, she asked earlier where to find the paint kit. Can you put the link in there? She's curious about this painting night. So let me tell you what's going on. Uh, oh, I see you guys talking about Cinnamon Toast Crunch ice cream. Got it already. I think we had that a couple weeks ago on the stream, didn't we? When we made the Fruity Pebbles stuff. Yes. Um, not as impressed as I hope that would be. It's, it's a little bland for my taste. It, it needs to be kicked up a little bit more. It's it's not. Uh, Sarah and Hannah say their favorite is half-baked as well. Um, okay, so paint night. Here's what happens. There's a kit. Link is in the chat. You can buy that kit if you want to. This is what we're going to paint. Um, it's from a website called socialartworking.com, social-artworking.com. They have all kinds of kits you can buy on there, different sizes of paintings, different styles, whatever you want. Get that kit, get a different kit, paint out of your mind, I don't care. Um, we're gonna paint that kit. We're gonna do the little mushroom house. If you guys wanna paint along with us, awesome. Whatever you wanna paint, color, draw, whatever you wanna do, it's, it's crafty making art night. So Dan and I are both gonna paint that same image and we'll see what the difference is between the two. So it's about, I would say, 10 bucks shipped for the paint kit. That'll give you the kit, the carbon paper, the stencil, the carbon paper, and instructions on how to paint it. You can buy them individually if you want, if you already have carbon paper. If you want to follow our instructions and not theirs and take a chance, if you know how to paint better than I do and you can figure out how to make that happen without instructions, just get the stencil, um, trace it off your computer. I don't care. We're painting. We're painting. That's all. That's what's happening. Uh, Sam says Ben and Jerry's ice cream is $7 here. Oh, Lord. I paid, I think, $4.50 for those each. I, I splurged a little bit. Uh, Cyber Husky says there's a lo local ice cream shop that has single malt butterscotch ice cream. We ordered a pint to pick up tomorrow. I won't try it, but hubby is excited. That sounds amazing. I would try that. I would totally try that. Oh, Lord, it's warm in here. That, that oven going on did not help. We got about nine more minutes on this cake. I'm gonna peek at it and see how things are going. Ooh, it's cakey. It's getting nice and thick. Uh, Mel Shane says, hey Crystal, so I heard Pillsbury is coming out with new Cinnamon Toast Crunch cookie dough and cinnamon rolls. I have heard that. Did we? We didn't get the cinnamon rolls, I, did we? I looked for them when I was at the store yesterday and I didn't see them. Is that gonna no. be like a Walmart thing? A lot of times the, the individual, like, one-off things like that will be exclusive to one store. So I usually look into it and, and find out from the, the junk food accounts that I follow where it's going to be at. And we, we try to hunt them down. I will definitely get that. I don't think they have it anymore, but a few years ago, Cinnamon Toast Crunch came out with a muffin mix that before I made the Cinnamon Toast Crunch coffee cake that I now make, we would make that, and it was amazing. I definitely like the coffee cake better, though. So I, I'm not I, mad that that's gone. I the muffins and the waffles. The muffins in the waffle, like make a muffin and then put it in the waffle machine? From the cinnamon toast crunch. The batter? You can make, all you have to do is grind up the cinnamon toast crunch and replace like half of your flour. Half of my flour? Yeah, and then you can have cinnamon toast crunch waffles. Just put it in the, uh, the food processor so it's a powder like flour. We have it's one not, of those. It's, it's about blending the, the dry and the wet. So as long as you make the same amount, you can replace it. It should be fine. Okay. Melissa says, I think I talked my sons into painting with us. That's awesome. My mom asked me, so when's paint night? And I'm like, oh, you're going to paint with us? And she said, I don't know. We'll see how Does I she feel. Come over paint? I don't know, but she was asking about it. So there's a chance. It's a Wednesday when she goes to work. I'll tell her just come to work later mm -hmm. and come home with us. It depends on how hot it is. She has an air conditioner at her house. That's okay. We'll make all the Dalai Lama paintings where they drill off the... <laughs> Uh, Sam says, the thing like the watch. No, that's not Dalai Lama, that's Salvador Dali. You got it half right. <laughs> Sam says, I have a cute sloth pick to paint on paint night. Oh, I love sloths. I really hope a lot of you guys paint or draw along with us and post your pictures. I want to see what you guys make. 
Brittany says the reason Ben and Jerry's are more costly is because they donate to charity. Yes, and I will pay extra. Look, it, it's worth it. It tastes better. I'd rather have that than some knockoff. Like most of the cheap knockoff brands are not that good. We didn't so, grow up with good ice cream. We had that clear pint. The oh, we had the the bucket. Yes, that with, was what I mean. Yeah, with the hand. That yes. wasn't a pint. I'm that sorry. was a. <laughs> A lunch barrel. We got it at Food for Less. Mm -hmm. That's what we had. And we had that. We had that. It tasted like the freezer. The outside yes. freezer with the handle that pulls down. Yep. It yeah, was in because there. it was in there for so long. How could it yeah. not? Yeah, that's all we ever got. We never had good ice cream. I don't know what happens at Blake's mom's house, but over here we have educated him about good ice cream. He knows all about it. You know what he wants? Vanilla. Boring. Uh, Crystal the Animal Lover says, love your shirt, Crystal. I'll be getting one soon. Awesome. You guys can get this if you go to gettingbakewithcrystal.com. There's a link. Uh, they're sold on Redbubble. My goal for this week is to get these up on Teespring as well. That'll give you guys more shirt color options. So I do plan to do that with the designs that I've made that are on Redbubble. Unfortunately, we weren't as happy with the, the quality of the print from Teespring. A lot more color options and style options, but this print has held up a lot better than what we've gotten from Teespring. I'm so wearing the Teespring. I recommend Redbubble. You're wearing Teespring? Yeah, but you're not on camera, so nobody can see. Hannah can't wait to get her Dan Head pint glass. Thanks for the support, by the way, for getting your Dan Head pint glass. Chrissy no says. Leaks, so. Huh? There's guaranteed no leaks in Guaranteed, you can't guarantee that. 100% <laughs> money back guaranteed no leaks. Christine says here in New York, Ben and Jerry's is around $4.99. Yeah, I will only buy it when it's on sale, unless like last night I just have a random craving of like, I need to get these flavors I'm never gonna see otherwise and I don't wanna wait until they're on sale. But yeah, they're usually about four fifty to five bucks. I learned that oh. if you peel these back, you can open them and take Oreos out. Yeah, that's the trick. So the other thing I couldn't resist, I have been resisting every week when we go to the store, was the inappropriately named limited edition s'mores oreos or as they should be known s'moreos wow. have you guys tried these does somebody own the s'moreos already i can't imagine these are so good i'm all about it so good don't mind me i'm just eating a s'more cookie Sam says, which will come faster, my stickers or my Dan head cup? Oh, the Dan head cup for sure. Um, we will, will be reshipping your stickers, I promise you. At this point, I don't believe they are going to arrive. Or if so, you have two. Hold on, I so need one more. We'll try again. I need another bite before I can make hang my on, review. Hang on, hang on, you're bad at opening packages. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I tripped over my light? That was your karma. Stephanie says, okay, I need to know if these are available in Australia. Are we talking about the S'moreos? I don't think they are because Helen, who is also in Australia, told me, y'all don't get the good flavors of Oreos. Oh. Speaking of which, Helen, I did send you like eight different flavors of Oreos. Have you tried them? What did you think? What was your favorite flavor? I'm very curious about that. Uh, Melissa says, check your cake. Mine cooked in 40 minutes instead of 50 to 55. Um, I did 30 to 35. I don't know where 40 to, or 50 to 55 was. Yeah, this one says 30 to 35. So um, I have three more minutes till I reach 30. It's still jiggly. It's probably going to need the other five minutes. But thank you. Thank you for the heads up. Um, I will anticipate about 40 minutes. Did you make a bunt cake also? Crystal says, weird how Sam didn't get her stickers yet. I got mine within a week to two weeks. Yeah, I, at this point, I think they've been lost. Like, a slight delay is one thing, but it's well, been entirely did you put those stuff? Did you put all the stuff in the mail today? Yes. Well, I sent Steve a packet, or I sent Steve a sticker pack today, or yesterday. But you didn't make one up for Sam? No, no. <laughs> um, so we'll see how long it takes to get there. And he received them yesterday? <laughs> oh, it took a month oh. for the package we sent him last time. Melissa says, okay, that's what I saw online. Yeah, I... The person who posted this, the original recipe that was posted, I don't think it gave a temperature or a time, or it was really vague. I remember it being, like, not specific enough. That's Nana why... don't I, need no time. You know, a Nana is just like, until it's done. Yeah, I need times. Much like I need exact temperatures, don't give me two different options. I need to know how to cook this. Um, Did Melissa put stop signs on her thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, it got my attention. It worked. Um, yeah, so... I had to search out like somebody that wrote up the recipe properly because that's how I function. Not from Nana's little 
she didn't even post the handwritten. It was like she asked her sister for it. Her sister texted it to her. She screenshotted it and posted it on Reddit. And there wasn't any specific cooking time. So I had to find somebody who knew the cooking time. Which, if I made more bunk cakes, I might know what the cooking time is. Right. Uh, Uncle Yukon, we sent your uh, postcard out yesterday. Yes. It was great. And yesterday, Dan learned that there's such thing as a postcard stamp that costs less than real stamps. I had no idea. Also, yeah. like, I didn't know how it worked. I had to ask you what I did. Like, yeah, he didn't know where to put anything on a postcard. I was looking for Husky Tales, is one that she sent me so I could go copy how she did it, because I didn't <laughs> I didn't know. But it's on its way to you. I wrote private stuff on there, but there, it's in the open, because it's everybody's just... Everybody's going to see it. Yeah, so everybody's going to see everybody's gonna see my private stuff I wrote for you. Uh, Stephanie, regarding the Oreo, says, yes, we do. They're on special at Woolies for $135. Excellent. Woolies. Woolies. I think, I think it's like Woolies? Woolworths. Is there like, a... we used to have Woolworths, and I think they have Woolies. I need to know if Woolies has a mascot. <laughs> yes. Please tell us. Please let me know if Woolies has a, has a mascot. <laughs> Sam says that when I say bunt, it sounds like I'm saying butt cake. That's because N-D-T is not a sound my mouth wants to make. Bunt. I don't know. No, it's a butt cake. Like We're just mug, calling it butt cake. I like, mean, it's chocolate, and it's brown with a hole in the middle, so I don't know. Um, like the mud cake? <laughs> yes, like mud cake. Um, Stephanie, I'm interested to know... Okay, so Helen said you guys do have Oreos. You just don't get the wide range of flavors that we have. I don't know where she lives in relation to you, and if that's just where she lives. Maybe she lives in the sticks. Do you guys have sticks there? Is that a thing? Does she live in the outback? Isn't it all dressed... Don't they all just drive, drive Jurassic Park cars? To, <laughs> I in, think so. In between each city? It, yeah. I imagine it's like a role playing game but where I there's think, a city and then you venture out into like the unknown to question mark yeah, and then through you get, some of the outback and then you just get back to the city because I again. think like three quarters of it's outback right. like nobody lives in most of yeah. Australia and then you get back to the city I could be completely wrong this is a American education version of Australia right boomerangs and uh, shrimp, kangaroos and outback kangaroos blooming and blooming just wandering down the street with like muscles and yes, six packs right. and things and blooming onions grow wild out there yes stephanie says woolworths is woolies i don't even think we have woolworths anymore i think they all closed uh, down they left i the remember country. going uh when we went to visit my aunts in washington when i was a kid and we went to woolworths and they still had like the counter and you could eat your food and sit like at the counter <coughs> and get your stuff and it was like, like a macy's no, no, no. It was more like, kind of like a Walgreens, I think. Like, more that style. Like oh, a, yeah. It was like a drugstore, but then right. they had, like, a food counter. Uh, she says, we can shorten everything over here, unless it can't be shortened, in which case we lengthen it. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to me, like, sunnies instead of sunglasses and like it sounds so fun it does like it sounds like you're always having fun with the way you call things like you're, you guys are all just valley girls I don't know if you know what that means but like valley girls like oh my god get my sunnies everybody on Austra everybody in Australia is just taking the piss out of everybody else <laughs> and it smiles I saw somebody on reddit the other day go wait taking the piss isn't an American saying like yeah. he's not in America and didn't realize that we didn't say that yeah did you not watch like the BBC at all <laughs> <laughs> right. even I know that Helen says, I live in the suburbs of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. It means nothing to that me. That sounds so much prettier <laughs> than Lancaster, California. A little bit. Well, when you say it like Lancaster, that's not how anybody here says it. If you travel far enough in a straight line in the outback, you get to more outback. Lots more. Yeah, I heard, I heard there's a lot. Yeah, we have a lot of outback. We don't call it that, but that's what it is. Alright, that definitely needs a few more minutes. I've been yapping for a bit after the timer went off, so we're gonna go three more minutes. <laughs> PJ with the super chat says, I know that boomerangs are Australia's number one export. It's also their number one import. <laughs> I see what you did there, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I get it out. Uh, I have to go in it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stephanie says, What are Valley Girls? We have a clothing shop called Valley Girl. Of course you do, that makes sense. You know the movie Clueless? Yeah, have you seen the movie Clueless? So, Valley Girls are people that live in the valley, which is like that way. <laughs> like south of us, like LA, like Beverly Hills. They I, have our accent, but more. Because you just said LA and Beverly Hills. So. <laughs> but it's super like over the top, and Valley Girls would say sunnies. They would they would use all kinds of slang like that for sure. Yes, flip flops and. They say for sure too. Yeah, for like, sure. Like for sure, dude. I, I like, talk. Totally. I would talk more like a Valley Girl than anybody. You you don't have as much of the like drawn out, exaggerated accent of it, but your vocabulary, yes, absolutely. Everything's. Yep. Gone. Jim says Dan's right. Valley Girl. Yeah, I for sure got Valley Girl. It's a California thing. I was it's... born in Garden Grove. Like I'm from. Right. There. 
I think anybody in Southern California kind of talks like a valley girl. Yeah. It's just the thing. Maybe not if you go really far down to like San Diego. But uh, even just the fact that we say like in the middle of our sentence so much. Well, when it gets really girl when thing. it gets really bad, it's like that guy that was like. And then I just dropped in and like whoop bash yes. and like, get pitted. <laughs> that like Spicoli is like a little bit of an exaggeration, but yes. there is real life Spicoli. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I have yeah. met even at the bike shop. I've met real life Spicolis. So yeah, no, we're just like we're like a toned down version of it. Right. But yeah. But yes, totally we would shop in that girls. store that Stephanie talked about. Uh, Uncle Yukon says Melbourne's the city, Victoria is the state, and Australia is the country. Oh yeah, I meant that didn't mean anything to me in terms of like where she is in the kangaroo pouch. I, I don't know. Brittany says Dan just needs the scrunchies. My mom still has scrunchies and she puts her hair in ponytails with scrunchies and it's so funny because scrunchies are really, really thick and she has this tiny little like pony nub sticking out of her big giant scrunchie. It cracks me up. It's hilarious. Uh, Stephanie says, with the super chat, thank you so much for the support, friend. With a broken heart, we didn't get the s'mores ones you were eating before. We have a different version, though. Also, I live in the suburbs of, uh, I live in the suburbs of Perth, Western Australia. Oh, okay, so Again, don't know where that place is well, in the like, kangaroo pouch. It's like super far away, and we're like um, lily bubbles. Like, if this was Australia, if this was Australia on the globe, it's over here. Okay, it's and like where's, far away. where's Victoria? Uh, I don't know, but like <laughs> America's know. over here, you know, or whatever. Look into this. It's like it's like way far away. It's like for it's like the farthest away after you get to there. Okay, after you get to there. Uh, hey Dan, Sarah's got a joke for you. Why do fungi have to buy two bus tickets? Uh, why do fungi have to buy two bus tickets? Uh, why? Because they take up two mushroom. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! How do you get a timeout for that? No, Sarah. You laughed a little. No, that was good. No, you got me. I didn't. I didn't know why. I never thought about it till now, and it makes a lot of sense. We're a tiny bit more. It's not quite springing up it yet. Makes a lot of sense. Um, so when testing if a cake or cupcakes or anything like that is done, one way to do it is obviously stick something in it and see if it comes out clean. This is really deep. I don't know if I want to stick a whole knife in it. Um, the method that I generally tend to use is just to poke it, like not poke, but like push with your finger flat and it'll squish down a little bit. If it springs back up into place, your cake's done. It's a pretty good trick. Uh, Helen says, Stephanie's on one side of the country and I'm on the opposite side of the country. Okay, gotcha. See, that makes sense. Brittany says, tap the cake. Tap like that. My dinner tonight, my dinner <laughs> tonight was uh, barbecue chips and gummy crawlers. And a half frozen, uh, Chicken burger that and was the a, rest of the pasta salad. That was a, no, there's still there's still like three bites of pasta nice. salad left for you. <laughs> Missy fan named Jen. Okay, she's got the Valley Girl. Oh my God, gag me with a spoon. Yep, that came from Gap Valley Girls for sure. Oh, it's like totally. It's to <laughs> let me try again. Oh, it's so totally like tubular and some junk. Yes. <laughs> the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were tubular. Everything Michelangelo said was totally tubular. They were kind of Valley Girl. Michelangelo would have fit in. I've seen some Michelangelo's in real life. Like, no way, bro. Yes. That's so rad. For sure. And I'm like, yeah, dude. For sure. You should buy that bike. It's rad. I know, but like, I could totally be like sideways. Yeah, that happens. Oh, that looks fun. Do you want to bring it over here? You want me to get a yellow Not thing? Not yet. I'm still checking. I think I might need to stick a knife in it. All right. We did about 35 minutes so far, maybe 36. Doris uh, uses straight dry spaghetti to test the cake. That is brilliant, because that would go in further, but Try I already it. stuck my knife in, and it came out pretty Of course it is. You watch so much murder shows that your first instinct... <laughs> I've already stabbed my cake. Sorry. Your first instinct was to make sure it doesn't move anymore. Okay, so can we talk a little bit more about Crime Scene Kitchen? Who has watched Crime Scene Kitchen? I need to know if you guys are watching How many this. episodes are they on? Three at least? Three, four? Three or four. I watched one last night. I think it might have been four. It was definitely at least three. the first, like, two episodes were easy. And then this one was, okay, like, wait. They impossible. were easy, but the contestants on it did not anticipate it being easy. So they were trying to make this, like, crazy out there stuff when it was, like, basically... You have to think about the fact that you're coming into a kitchen. So if you haven't seen it, they come into a kitchen that kind of looks like this. But say we, we took the the cake out of the pan already the cake's gone you don't know anything there's no dessert sitting there uh britney's doing a dexter binge me too friend i'm on like i don't even know what season i, I don't want to say where i am because spoilers but yeah all about it um 
Cyber Husky's only seen the first episode but doesn't mind spoilers. Oh, I'm not gonna spoil it because it's fun. We, we try to play along. So absolutely no way can I go on the show and guess what they've made. Some of the things are way too hard, but after the fact when they tell you the clues that should have led you to know what the dessert is, you look at it and you're like, yeah, of course. Absolutely. So you come into a kitchen that looks kind of like this. Um, some stuff will be in the trash can. You gotta look everywhere. You've got, I think, three minutes to look through the kitchen and figure out, okay, there's a coffee maker. Coffee's been made. There's definitely coffee. There's a, a butt cake pan that's, you know, say it's in the dishwasher or it's in the sink. You know, you look in here and you can see, so, okay, something chocolatey has been made. There's some chocolate chips sitting there. Uh, you use those clues to try to figure out what was made. And then there's, it started with six and now we're down to five teams. Yeah. Like someone gets eliminated every time. And so everybody comes with whatever they think the thing was. And it's great because it's not like everybody walks in there with a chocolate bunt cake. Like yeah, they have to go make it. Three. Oh yeah, yeah. They have to go make it. They go into the kitchen with the ingredients and they make the thing. But when they come and present their desserts, maybe three people have the bunt cake, and then one person's got like a chocolate cheesecake, and one person's got like chocolate banana muffins because they're just thinking way too hard about what it is. It's kind of funny. Uh, Miss Van Am Jen says I wrote down the show name. I think it's on Fox and it's on Hulu for sure. Like next day episode kind of thing. Uh, highly recommend it. It's really entertaining. It got and it's, hard quick though. It went yes. from something easy like apple pie, and now it's a, like, oh look, it's like it's like caviar or cream of some young guy, and um, like it's really <laughs> croquembouche, like crazy stuff. That it's not for people like me. It's for people who own a pastry shop. It's for people who bake for a living, who have gone to pastry school, who can see the pat of shoe in the the squishy pastry bag and know like, okay, that means we had eclairs or, or cream puffs or something. I don't know, like in watching this show, I've definitely learned. If you guys want to know like some of the more obscure baking things and, and what things do what, you'll definitely learn from it. Uh, Crystal says it's crazy the different clues and what they make. Yeah, it's crazy how some of them are so far off. Um, they had uh, fruit on them, and so when there's fruit, they have to look and see. Okay, there's a big bowl of fruit. You don't just look at that and go, okay, there's lemons and limes and strawberries. We're making a dessert with lemons and limes and strawberries. No, you have to go look in the trash can. What did they actually use? Okay, there's a big pile of limes, and there's two lemons left, like, buried underneath in the bottom of the bowl. So you're trash digging. They digger. used up all the lemons. Trash diggers. Yes, absolutely. And of I course, highly Joel recommend McHale's it. on it. And so. Joel McHale's on it, so you know I'm in. But yeah, you guys should totally check it out. If you like watching this, you should watch that. It's fun to watch them and to try to figure out along with them, because they don't tell you what the dessert is. Like, you as the viewer don't get to find out what the dessert is until after all the teams have gone into the kitchen tried to figure out what it is, come up with their idea, they go make their dessert, then they present it to the judges. So now, say the recipe is the chocolate cake, three of the teams come with their chocolate cake, okay, cool, you guys definitely are gonna be okay, but who made the best chocolate cake? Who was closest to what it should be? Uh, who nailed it? You know, somebody made something and they tried to scoop it out and it was just like pie soup? Yeah, you're not gonna win. Yep, one girl made soup. Like, really? Yep, absolutely. And it happens. You guys have seen on this show, sometimes stuff just fails. And when you've got, you know, say they have two hours to go make this dessert, if you screw it up, that's it. You're done. If it was donut night and my donuts turned out like my donuts turned out, that's it. I'm not winning any shows. So it's, it's luck of the draw a little bit. Oh, boy, it's warm in here. What's our outside temperature now, Dan? 98. 98, we've, it, we've broken 100. But it's 93 in here. Okay, we've gone down one degree. <laughs> Just the one. All right, this is firming up pretty good. It looks like it's pulled away from the sides pretty well. God, I hope it has. I am gonna pour myself a glass of lemonade. Oh yeah, homemade lemonade, you want to make that. Did we make that on the show? We yet? did make that on the show. We should talk about that. Should we? Yeah, it is summertime, maybe we should make it again. Crystal, I did remember to turn the oven off. That was like immediately it needed to go off. Jess says 93 in the house. I just don't understand. 
It's so hot. hot. It's humid today, so the swamp cooler's not working very oh, well. The humidity got us. Yeah, swamp it, coolers work in dry heat. The minute we get, literally, I think we had one percent humidity. It, it rained ten drops today. Yes, yeah. We had literally ten drops of rain, so therefore the swamp cooler cannot fight out the humidity. Uh, Hannah says I couldn't live in a house that's ninety-three degrees, but that's just me. Um, yeah, neither can we. <laughs> We're just trying to get by, friends. Just as we had a swamp cooler when we lived in Arizona. Yeah, they're great most of the time, but you get those those one-off days where there's a little bit of humidity. It's good um, until 95. She doesn't remember it being that bad, but I don't think Arizona gets as much. Well, you guys do get the, the typhoons. We're Arizona good. gets, We're well, monsoons, not typhoons. We're good until 95, and then it just gives up. Yeah, and, you know, at 100 and... We were in the, the, Is what, the high... I can't say high three digits. That's not right. Um, the high, like, first set of tens in the 100s. I think it hit 108 What today. I got in the car right now before we started, it said 127 on my car. And that's the temperature that your car was feeling. Yeah, when I leave work, it's yeah. always insane because it just sits out there in the sun. It's just lame. But the lemonade's good. Yes. Yeah, if you guys haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend the lemonade recipe. It is on the Pinterest page. Um, we made it on the show once when we made something else i don't know we made it at some point it's really good i saw somebody posting online today that their daughter wanted a lemonade stand but they couldn't find a good recipe so they just used store-bought lemonade no it's way too sweet and sugary this is it has sugar in it don't get me wrong but it's the perfect balance of sweet and tart it's so good Elias says 120 in Phoenix, my car said. Yeah, I follow this girl on Instagram. Her name's Puppet Pie. She makes little puppets and she's so adorable. She's actually the person that um, helped them and she made the actual physical puppet of Julia on Sesame Street. If you guys know anything about that character on Sesame Street, she's the autistic character. Um, and so this girl, Puppet Pie, made it. She, every summer, she lives in Arizona, and every summer she'll bake cookies in her car. She'll put them on her dashboard, and she makes all kinds of amazing things with her hands and crafts and sewing and all this stuff. I love that she makes cookies every time. Imagine how good that car smells. And it probably just soaks into the seat so your we car just smells like cookies. cookies. in our car. That just sounds fun. I mean, it sounds unnecessary. <laughs> it does sound unnecessary. But it would make my car not smell like fast food reviews. It would. You should do that. I'd say daily damn, but it's not that hot that early in the morning. The other morning. day I found like a full nugget. Ew! Like, it wasn't even hot. I, oh, I gobbled that thing right up. Did you really? Yeah. You better not have. You'll never know. Ew. Why do I even like you? You're so gross. I was so grossed out when Terry was in your car and dropped a fry, and you were like, don't reach for it. And the reasoning behind that was because she might have found a different fry that wasn't the one that she dropped. Yeah, that's why I gave her a heads up. That's good. That's called good looking out. It's disgusting. Cynthia says in Arizona they ha they are monsoons, and we had our first last weekend. I was out there once visiting my friend when she lived out there, and I was out there for a monsoony storm, and I don't think it was one of the worst ones, because she sent video. They're absolutely insane, but it was amazing. It was like a hot day. It, it's like out here when we get the humidity, you're just like, God, I wish this, this would just break, and then it does, and then it just pours down all this water. So amazing. I wish that happened here. Oh yes, we had a monsoon. <laughs> just sleep through it. Cynthia says it's 111 still at 7.30 p.m. I mean, bro, I feel better. It's 98 now. We broke. Yeah, yeah not it's too better. bad. All right, I think this is probably cool enough to dump out of here. Ugh, do I just do it on a plate? I didn't think that through. I don't have, what like, a... a pan? Get a big old pan out. Get that huge pan that you have out. And then... That huge pan? Yeah, the one that's, like, like, the big huge pan. And you just put it on the here. Just like a baking there. sheet? Yeah, a baking sheet. Put it on there. Do it on the baking sheet. That's probably a good idea because I'm gonna pour the glaze. I, yeah, but I'm gonna pour the glaze over the top. I was thinking about the the cake display I'll thing. The biggest baking sheet, yeah. But yeah, that way that'll catch all the excess. That's a good idea. I'm doing it, Dan. Ooh, I'll be over here for a minute, cooling down. Hold on. I think I'm going to put down some parchment paper just to be safe. I don't want it to stick to this. You want some tape? No. Once the tape goes on, it'll be fine. 
Where'd Mooch go? I'll find I'll find Mooch. I don't know where he went. It was Mooch's gotcha day yesterday. It was. He got to have all the sacks. He did, huh? He was so happy. Yes, thanks to everybody that's been sending us the snacks because we were like, we'll buy him snacks. We were at the store, we're like, no wait, we have a million at home. And we got oh. home. Oh, that looks great. Oh, one little blob. You were right, Sam, I missed a spot. <laughs> That was great. Oh my gosh. Almost. That spray stuff's awesome. Um, you know what? Looking at this makes me think I need to get a better pan that like has a, a pattern or a shape. I'm gonna flip it over. Uh than this pan you have here? Yeah, it's a boring shape. Oh, you need the like the like the ribbed ones. Yeah, where it has like right. a pattern to it or it looks like it's like folded over or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something better. Okay. Hot? Is that what no, I was scared I was gonna drop it and it was gonna make a big mess. Oh, you just power slam. I did. I had to. I had to go fast. Jim said, "Well, where's the riches?" I told you. Yes, Brittany, it's just a giant donut pan. It was like six bucks at Aldi like a bunch of years ago. What do you want from me? I'm sneaking a taste. The pan you have is a tube pan. You need a bunk pan. What's a tube pan for? Giant donuts. Recipe from allrecipes.com that has our glaze that looks amazing. Can, can we see this? No, is there anything with the buffer? It's what? There is nothing wrong with oh. this. Screen. It's back. Just a super chat to pay the power bill. No joke, guys. <laughs> No joke. I'll just drink more lemonade while you it's guys- it is, it is fine on our end. Zero packets lost. It's not us, it's YouTube. Excellent condition. I have all excellent conditions. I'm sorry. All right, so this takes a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna combine the milk and the chocolate chips, cook, stirring constantly until the chips are melted and the mixture is smooth. Do not allow it to bubble. Remove from the heat and stir in the vanilla. And cool it slightly before drizzling over the cake. You can also make this ahead and cool it and reheat it in the microwave. All right, so let's get our teaspoon out so we are ready for the vanilla. I might need another ring for my uh, measuring cups. It's getting yeah, a little out of control. Yeah, I was thinking of that here. when I was cleaning them the other day. I, I think you'd need another police. Like, it's like a set of keys on there. It's got too many keys. Okay, so let's open the condensed milk. <laughs> Sarah, thank you so much with the super chat. Here's a little bit for your power bill. I just got thank the new you. one and the new power bill is the, the amount of the last two put together. That's that's summer here. That's what happens. Okay, so we're gonna open this. I think maybe I should use a smaller one. I don't know. Aaron Larman says hello from hell on earth, man. How y'all doing? Oh, just chilling in our own personal hell. <laughs> same, friends, same. Maybe we live in the same town. <laughs> right? You local? I think I am going to get a smaller one. Oh, hey, guys, we got to do pots and pans. Oh, yeah. Huh. Look how fancy. I've not used any of them yet, so fingers crossed this works well. Yeah, Jim Johnson's right. A portable AC unit right next to the hot stove. Yeah. Where else was it going to go? I didn't think about that part when I said it. I up. did, I told you. I didn't think about that. All right. That's not very bright. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, it's balancing out the hot stove, right? Like, it's preventing that heat from being all the heat I don't know. Look, my brain is fried, guys. I don't go anymore. I just didn't think about that. I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute. So good. All right. I don't think I have 
any more one cup measuring cups. Uh, Miss Fan Name Jazz says caramel sauce? No, but I bet that would be amazing. Oh, that would be so good. No, it's, it's too late to change it. That's it. We're sticking with what we have now. But yes, I bet a caramel sauce would be good. I saw a lot of people that made this butt cake used a peanut butter frosting. People were really down for the peanut butter with the, the devil's food cake. All right, that's about a cup. We're going to throw this on the stove, and I'm going to hang out over there in front of the cooler because it says I have to stir it constantly. So we just want to do this until it's smooth and all the chocolate chips are melted. To be fair, I can feel it way better than if it was on the other side. Because it would be behind the counter and I wouldn't be able to feel it at all. It's cooling down now. Yeah. It's 96 now. Outside? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's 92 in here, so we beat we beat the we live another day. Yeah. Yeah. We uh we beat out the the heat today. I told my mom if I'm going over to paint for her, she has to put the air conditioner on and turn that temperature down. She usually keeps it like 85 or something in there, I think. All right, so chocolate chips are melting. Let's thicken it up a bit. I can't even see the chat because the computer went to sleep. Uh, I don't know when our heat warning's over. I think August. <laughs> I don't even, yeah. It is only gonna be in the 90s next week. So not That's quite fan as bad. That's fantastic. <laughs> is it fantastic? We turn the heat down just a little bit so you can see it sticking at the bottom. How does the new, uh, how does the new pan, or the pot feel, same? It's fine, I'm just stirring, so I'm not really sure. Like, I'll, I'll have a better idea when I'm making, like, eggs or something like that. that right. Because lately our pans were getting so old, just there was a whole layer of eggs stuck to it all the time. It just, like, was tired. They were just tired. It yeah. was nice. The other ones lasted for a lot of years. They did. We had them over 10 years. So, we'll These see. ones are cool. I thought we were going to get, like, fun colors or something like that, but we went with, like, 50 Cent Murdered Out. Form black yeah and i really did i wanted like high quality ones they're nice i'm happy i'm happy to not have stuff stick all right that's definitely picking up can you get one of the um trivets out the yellow rubbery thing this one just one where would you like it um in the space on the counter that there is next to the computer i guess sort of perfect that was i nailed it on the chat. Uh, just more weather talk. Yeah. Like, I can't, I can't do no more weather talk. <laughs> no. That's no. all anybody talks it's about. Just, Everybody comes to the door and work. It's hot out here. I'm just done. I'm done with the weather talk. Like, not what you guys, not what you guys talk, but like, I'm just done. Yes, it's hot. Yes, it sucks. Yes, I live in it. No seasoned chocolate? Seasoned chocolate? Yeah, like I didn't season up this time. Oh, seized. Yeah. <laughs> Not seasoned. Yeah, like seized That's candy. Different. Is this seized, can seized candy would vanilla. be different? What's that stuff? Vanilla. Nice. My fancy vanilla that smells and tastes amazing. Over the pan. Over the pan, because I don't care if there's too much vanilla in it. All right. So I'm just going to stir that vanilla in. I'm sure there's a reason. I When I make the other frosting for the other chocolate cake, it also says not to add the vanilla till you remove it from the heat. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Uh, what do you add to the chocolate? It's just a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and a teaspoon of vanilla. So it makes like a glaze. Uh, 
coming back. I'm still going to the thing. Yeah. All right, so. I really love this vanilla. I wish I would have bought it another one of them while they were on sale because I'll never see them again because it was at like Home Goods or Ross or something. So it's pretty thick. It does say to let it cool for a minute because I don't want it to just puddle. I want it to kind of sit on the cake. Yeah, cool slightly before drizzling over your cake. Let's taste it. That's good. Are you putting like That's sprinkles really and stuff on it? What goes on the top? Do you want sprinkles and stuff on it? This is your cake. This is your Father's Day cake. I picked this for this week because it's Father's Day and you have been all about chocolate no, cake lately. I think I wanted just chocolate. You don't want some of the fancy sprinkles on it? I don't know. What do I you have think? have fancy sprinkles. Uh, no, those, those I want to save for fancy sprinkle stuff. No way. Like what What are we saving them for? Forever? I don't know. What Let's is, use what's them this on here? Were we talking about cherries or is that a different recipe? That's a different recipe. Oh, okay. You can put some maraschino cherries, just like plop them on top if you want. We don't have the nice ones on a stem, though. What would look good for a thumbnail? What's going to look good for your thumbnail pick? Sprinkles. Then we'll put some sprinkles on it. <laughs> Chris says, OMG, I'm just in time to win again on Dantix. Question number one. Mm, that's tomorrow. <laughs> We're winning today on, like, chocolate cake for Dan. Yeah, so far this is I'm, going well. I I'm think excited. we should put uh, some sort of sprinkle on it. Melissa says, what's great about that vanilla? I don't know. It's amazing. It looks like we're making a tire. Oh, I got it at Home Goods. Home Goods always has all kinds of extracts and jellies and honeys and, like, random things that you will never see again. So if you find something you love, go back and get more. Yeah. Um, it's got a fun label. I don't know. It is fun. It's, uh... I don't know. It's produced in the old family traditions using extract of natural orchid vanilla beans from Mexico. It does not contain cumarin, a chemical additive. Maybe that's what it is. Cumarin? C-O-U-M-A-R-I-N. Cumarin? I don't know what that is. I never heard of it before. Um, but it smells so amazing. Even good vanilla, like pure vanilla extract, not the imitation stuff, doesn't quite smell vanilla-y. This smells like like it's some some oils, some essence of something. I don't know. It smells amazing, and maybe it's because it doesn't have the chemical in it. It's like all natural. Some I don't know. It's amazing, but it smells really good, and it tastes really good. Amanda is here as well. Hello. Did you guys enjoy your dinner? What was for dinner? Did you guys have date night? Alright, Dan, what do you want for sprinkles? I want, what like, fun colors. Can you come over here because you're taller than I am? I'm just gonna have to get a chair and make a mess of things. Oh, the pink bag? Thanks. Don't let it fall! Amanda says we had Mexican food and it was family dinner night. Yum. I miss, like, restaurant Mexican food. Some good enchiladas and rice and beans. Let's go get some. Like right now? Bye, guys. All right, we can get some soon. <laughs> that sounds good. We're good. I say we make my mom buy it for us this weekend. All right, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Is that an option? Okay, I don't want to use these. That's, right. that's going to be for something particular. I'm not sure what yet. This is very pinkish. This one is just sprinkles. This has a little bit of everything in it. What do you want? Oh, you want that? I like that blue. Look how good okay. That what things do you want? Do you want stars? Do you want dots? Yes. Do you want all of them? Not balls. Not the balls, but all the other things? Yeah, okay. but not the balls. But not the balls. No balls on Dan's cake. Not this one. Thank you. <laughs> My mom's watching. She said, hey, I heard that. <laughs> Did it work? Also, hi mom. You don't care about what we're making tonight because you don't like chocolate cake. Sorry, why don't you like chocolate cake? She did eat the chocolate donut though. She said, oh, it's because I was so hungry. No, it's because I made good donuts. You don't have to lie to kick it, mom. All right. 
think this is thick enough to put on here yet or should I let it cool a little bit more? I don't want it to just run off. I want it to look like it does in the picture where it like hangs over the edge but doesn't just all go down to the bottom of the pan. Jim says he's always waiting for the big taco truck expedition live from you, Dan. I'll talk no taco. We haven't been there this year at all. I'll talk no taco. I don't think we've been there in months. Yeah, I would say at least half the time when Dan's like, we're going to the taco truck! More than half the time. We, more than half the time. We get off the live and he's like, I don't want taco truck. They're not expensive. Hannah says, no balls this time, balls next time. Maybe we'll see how he's feeling. Yeah, the taco truck is a little bit expensive. It's good, but it is a little pricey. But I miss going and like eating a bunch of chips and salsa yeah, right. and getting a margarita. Yes, it's high crystals, mom. I'm just gonna hang out here and eat more of this frosting. So what else is going on? Now I want beans and rice. <laughs> I have beans and rice. I want like that big old burrito with the bread sauce on it. Did, didn't we, well, we ended up not getting it, huh? The can of uh, refried black beans? Yeah, maybe you guys had that. Did we get that? Yeah, has anybody tried refried black beans? I like black beans. Oh, we didn't get it because it wasn't vegetarian. It was made with lard. That's why. Um, but they had refried black beans at Target yesterday, and we were like, hmm, we've never seen that before. I'm interested to see, like, I don't know. To me, black beans are whole. You, like, bite into beans in your burrito, right? Like, it seems... <laughs> Cynthia says, stop stirring it. It'll thicken up. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. I didn't want it to get, like, filmy on the top, so that's why I was stirring it, but I'll leave it alone now. Uh, Christine with the super chat says, those candy balls will crack your teeth. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned about it. They look a little scary. Let's see. Does it have a safety thing on it? I think, I think there were some on some of the, uh, when I made the donuts and I don't think they were too bad. Let's see. Mm -mm. No, it's like chocolate or something inside. No, those aren't even hard. I think they're just super shiny. Yeah, those are fine. These ones, I don't know. These ones look like the the little uh, packet that you get in your bag of whatever, like in your shoes, that keep all the moisture out. Those are definitely harder. They do break apart into like a powdery sugar once you finally bite into it, but they're definitely high, harder. Chris says, mmm, good refried black beans are bomb. Mediocre refried black beans are gross. That, yeah, I can see that. Uh, Cyber Huskies had the refried black beans. Not a fan, but hubby liked it. Lady Cat's never seen refried black beans. See, I love black beans in a burrito. I think they're great. It's a really good flavor that offsets everything else in it. And it's not just mush, because the refried beans are fine, but it's just a mush in there. And if you have too much in it, it's just mush. Oh. Um, I don't like black beans in a veggie burger. I won't go to Chili's because that's what their veggie burger is. It's a black bean burger and it's disgusting. I hate, as much as I like the flavor of black beans and I love them in a burrito, I hate the flavor when they turn it into a veggie burger. And I won't order a veggie burger if it's a black bean veggie burger. They're nasty. Boy, it's warm in here. How about now, can I stir it now? We're almost there. We'll cool it a little bit more. Yeah, the pans are almost cool. A little bit, Crystal. A little bit. And Jim says he likes the black bean veggie burgers from Aldi. I won't try any of them anymore. Just because I cannot stand the flavor of it. I like the veggie burgers where there's like bits of vegetables in it. And you see like bits of carrot and green bits and mushrooms and whatever else. I don't know. Those are good. I'm really down for those. I'm mad that uh, Burger King no longer has a veggie burger because they switched to the Impossible Burger, which I'm not the hugest fan of. It's okay, and it's good that there's, like, vegetarian options places, but I like their veggie burger. Even though I know, like, 
only one person a month orders it and it's just probably microwaved. <laughs> it's so good. No, Amanda, I'm not drinking straight vodka. It's lemonade. See, it's a little foggy. Well, I would not drink this much straight vodka. That would be insane. Yes, you are. Yeah. I'm trying to see how much it holds its its shape when I drizzle it down. A little bit longer. I'll stop stirring it. I'll stop. I'll stop. Hey, Dan. Yeah. What's happening? I, I, like, ran out of things to small talk about. Jim says that's how the Aldi ones are. Kind of chunky in a good way. Oh, look, it's Dan, everybody. You are alive. You do exist. I was going to say how your thing looks like a donut, like a tire, but I guess maybe they got the spare tire donut from from the cake round. Huh? Is this the first time you've ever cooked anything in there? In that pan, yeah. Yeah, I bought it because it was cheap. That and the springform pan. I'm like, oh, what if I ever want to make something? At least I have a pan because... If you don't have a pan and you're trying to find a recipe, then you're like, oh, I guess I can't make that, or I have to go buy a pan. Does it cook so, better when it has the ridges in it? I don't think it cooks better, it just looks fancier. Oh, okay. So, that's all you're on. Bye! Oh, I see. That's why you made an appearance, so you could go stand by the air conditioner. Oh, that's hot. Uh, Christopher Friend says, vodka doesn't small talk. No, it really doesn't. Small talk is one of my least favorite things. Like, can we have a conversation? I don't want to, like, talk about the weather. That's the thing I least like about my job, is it's all small talk. And I feel like maybe two or three of the people there kind of try to get to know me better that we can have, like, deeper conversations. Not that I want to tell you, like, all my deepest hopes and fears and stuff, but, like, can I say, like, Dan did this instead of, oh, yeah, my boyfriend. Like, can I at least get to know you that well? But it's all just like, oh, how's the weather? Here's your mail. Like, small talk? It's weird. I hate small talk. I really hate small talk. Why'd you get like 20 pair of shoes and then now I'm taking them all back? What happened? Because not a single one of them fit well. I need new shoes, but they don't make ruse anymore. I have more than half a dozen pairs of ruse and they stop making them, or at least in America. You cannot buy them brand new in America unless you go to eBay and somebody was hoarding a pair forever. Mm. So I don't know what shoes to get because I've worn ruse for like six years. Did the ruse go out of business? No, they still exist, like, in European countries, from what I can tell. They're a little weird looking, but they still have them. But uh, Payless sold them for a long time. So I was buying them at Payless. And then Payless went out of business, but they were still online. But when I tried to buy them online, they only came in up to size 8, and I wear an 8.5. They didn't have any in you stock should, in the 8.5. You should go overseas and get that surgery where they shorten your feet. Or you should That's bind them. You should, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I saw one time in this documentary in China that they would like people wanted to be taller, so they would take your shin and like take it out and then put more in and then put it in like like make your legs longer. I saw somebody had their legs amputated and had to get new legs, and they asked him. I think I saw it on Reddit. And they asked him like, "Hey, you want to be taller?" And he was like, "Yeah, I want to be taller." And they made him two inches taller. Would you do that if you had your legs amputated and you had to get prosthetics? Would you make yourself taller? No. Or would you make yourself shorter? I don't want to be taller because I saw, like, I saw what happens, like, with Chris where, like, he's just got back aches all the time. Right. I would want, like, two different legs. Like... Two different sets in case you wanted to feel taller one day? Or just, like, not even human. Like, can I get, like, other legs? Like I don't... lizard legs? I mean, you want lizard feet? I don't want to be, like, a centaur or anything, but, like, you know, if I had one of those, like... One of those, like, donkey kicking legs. Just one. <laughs> just one donkey The other one can leg. be okay for show, but the other one's just one of those donkey kicking legs. I can just, you know, just, ugh. I think <laughs> that would be kind of, that would be kind of cool. So, yeah, I would go for, I would, yeah. Yeah, well, then I could give you a donkey show with my legs. Stop it! Well, with my leg, I just, with my leg. Uh, Jim, with the, the hard-hitting uh, stories here, thank you. You did more research than I did. Ruse is owned by a St. Louis holding company currently, and they're seeking a new manufacturing company. Oh my gosh, someone needs to start making them again. I got my first pair probably a decade ago at least. I happened to be at Ross, and I got some green camouflage ones. They were like 20 bucks at Ross. And I got them more like, oh my god, these are amazing shoes. And then I found another pair that was like baby blue and yellow, like a pale yellow. Bought those two also at Ross. Never found any again until they had them at Payless. And then I bought all of them. I bought burgundy ones and black ones and two different shades of blue ones. And then they came out with another line of them and I got 
black ones that look like old skate shoes, and then I got black ones that still look like the running shoes, and like aqua blue ones. Oh my god, I have a lot of roos. I have nine pairs of roos. I love them. They're just my favorite shoes. Uh, Jim did some research after we talked about them last week. His current pair is blue. I'm still rocking the black ones. I wear those almost every day, the black like running shoe ones. And then I have some older black running shoe ones that are like my outside I'm gardening ones. The blue ones that are like running shoes, those are pristine. Those only like, that's part of an outfit. I love those shoes. I love the pop of color of those. That's for an outfit. That's not, I'm wearing those to work and like kicking my feet up on my chair and peeling the sole off or anything. Uh, Doris with a topic of conversation. Thanks. If you could visit any place on earth, where would you go? Hmm. That's a good question. I would go anywhere. Like I'm not too picky. You know, I don't want to go to places that are like dangerous. Um, but we, we were into Japan a lot for a while. I think it would be neat to go there. The plane ride, not so much. I want to go to a water park. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, if I could go anywhere a in the world right now, for you, I huh? would just go to like a water park right now. I don't want this to solidify, but I don't want it to run off the cake. I might want to go to Australia. Yeah, but not I'd, in the summertime. I'd go to Australia. I think that would be fun. Uh, Tristan loved airwalks back in the day. I have a pair of airwalks that I absolutely love. They're big and chunky and blue, and they're so comfortable, and I love them. I collected. Can't find any more like them. I collected before they were at Payless. I would collect all the stickers that would come, all the different colored stickers that would come inside the airwalks. Yeah. Yeah, there would be like um, fuzzy stickers that would come inside, like where your heel goes. Right. And you'd pick them out, and you'd, I think I tried to stick them all over like my trapper keeper. Huh. Uh, yeah, they were fun. Uh huh. They Tristan a lot of says them. she sticks to Adidas and Puma now. I just can't find anything Terry's I like. Terry's a Puma, super Puma. Terry, lo she'll buy every shirt. When we went shopping, we went to like Ross and Home Goods and all these places. She went and bought like every Puma item she found. She loves Puma. I just can't find anything like. I don't want them to be flashy. I don't want them to be six different colors. I don't want them to be pink. I feel like I'm not that picky, but I'm that picky. But I bought three pairs from TJ Maxx online. They all came. I was so excited. Not a single one of them fit well. One of them was like pinching my toe weird. One of them was way too pink. I thought the pink was subtle and it's way less subtle than I thought it was. And I think the other one was like, like skate shoes, but too puffy everywhere to where it felt like it was squishing my foot and I was not a fan. The Etnies were like that. Yeah, well, I had a pair of Etnies. There used to be shoes. this um, like, surfboard snowboard skateboard shop online it was like board something something i don't know but they had 20 dollars shoes remember i would just buy 20 dollars shoes all the time i bought a ton of shoes i had dcs and etnies and i don't know i had all kinds of like expensive skate shoes um the etnies were good the dcs were good i don't remember what else i got Adidas cloud form shoes are my favorite. Uh, there's something about the shell toe that I love the look of. I don't know if I could pull it off though. I don't think I've ever owned a pair. Just as I have like three pairs of shoes, I would rather buy cameras. See, I love shoes because they always fit. Always, like you're never gonna outgrow them once you're an adult. Your shoes are the same size. How do I suddenly try to get this to like blow in my like private parts without talking about it? No, you like, just did. I like showing you. So what you have to do? You waiting for it to get thicker? Yeah, I'm trying to find. Look, full disclosure, I put a little bit of vodka in my lemonade. Did you? Maybe. No one saw. Oh, everyone saw except for you. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> um. So I'm struggling here to find the perfect balance. I don't know. Nancy says, I love Skechers, Keds, and Clarks. I've been looking at Keds. I thought Keds were cheap. I thought Keds were like, like $15, $20. Sh They're not. What about the British Knights? They not no, nobody wears British Knights. Uh, Jim says, uh, we can see you doing the wiggle over the vent, Dan, so. Yeah, that was a very smooth one, that. Okay, it's thickening up pretty good. Should I pour it on now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it away a little bit and make it thicker. Right. I don't want it too thick to where it just clumps on there. I do want it to kind of run.
think we're good. Just a little bit. Yeah, it is a little bit thicker than I wanted, but I didn't want it to just like soak in. I like that thickness. I'm just happy because I can just kind of pour this on and I don't have to spread frosting. I hate spreading frosting. Jim says, Ruse and Chucks are my are my gym shoe favorites. Man, I loved Chucks back in the day, but they're just too flat on the bottom these days. I need more support than that. I tried. I tried to get Chucks. They sucked. Uh, they made my feet look like Sideshow Bobs. And That's what I feel like when I try them on. I'm like, oh, clown shoes. And it was like, it was like my... My fragile ankles are just flippy floppy. Yeah, and they're not cheap. Like, if they were $20 shoes, maybe I'd grab a pair, but they're not. They're like $50. No wonder my parents would never buy them for me when I was a kid. This is this is really good. I think I did good with the, the timing yeah, on this. Yeah, really good. put too much on because I don't want it to run all down the edges. Like, I don't want it to coat the whole thing necessarily. But I also don't want to waste frosting. Mouse Queen is here! What is up, Mouse? How's it going? You're just in time to see the finished result. We are just about done with Nana's Devil's Food Cake made as uh, apparently, what was it called? A ring cake? Our giant donut cake? Because yeah. apparently it's not a bunt cake because I don't have a bunt pan. I'm not a professional. All right. So Dan has requested some sugar sprinkles. And some ball sprinkles. Little balls, not big balls. Yeah. Dan likes his balls little. And we got some stars in here. These are scattering everywhere, so I'm going to strategically put them on. Or at least like this. We could probably get some more stars in here. Christine says that cake looks so yummy. I think it turned out pretty well. I am a little disappointed that at least on this side, I put a little too much frosting. Yeah, and over here, it's coating the whole thing. I wanted it to kind of run down unevenly, but yeah, it's coating the whole thing. It's fine. At least every bite will have frosting in it. And this bite will have all the stars. Looks like a galaxy. A little bit, huh? That's my uh, Galaxy Nana's Devil's Food Cake. Are you ready to try it? Yeah. Yeah? Is that why you were eating dinner halfway through so you could try the cake? Yeah, I was preparing myself. Foxy Koala with the super chat says, donut cake, butt cake, ring cake, it's a cake. Yeah, who can complain? Let's find you the perfect spot to cut a slice. So I'm, I'm, you want to take a picture of it at all? I probably should, huh, before I slice so it. So I'm, it. I'm curious, what is the difference between this and a chocolate cake? What was it that we did different? Um, my chocolate cake doesn't have coffee in it, although you can put coffee in a chocolate cake, but I don't know if that's what makes it a devil's food cake. Oh, okay. I, I, I honestly don't know. Sorry. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. Fox I gotta take Instagram photos. Foxy Koala, I'm about to get down on this uh, donut cake. You know this, you gotta do it from every angle, just in case. This looks fun, right, even though it's round. But it looks different from different angles. 
I can show you the angle where it looks the biggest here. <laughs> no fun. Get out of here. All right, ready for this? I wanted to cut you a slice from this side because I thought this over here, how it's distributed would photograph well. There's just a puddle of frosting in the middle. I'm excited. Are you? A little bit. How thick of a slice do you want? Oh, no, no, no. Like, like right. Oh, no. I have to cut it bigger for a photo. You can oh, eat as much fine. as you want. Okay, yeah. I don't even want a little. It's too hot for, like, chocolate, but I'm excited to try this for sure. It's too hot for chocolate. said no one ever. It's hot. Just said I'll have more robust chocolatey taste. I'm, I'm holding you to that. I think because of the, the coffee, yeah. Does she have a scooper upper? Um, I do, but I think it's over there behind everything, and I didn't think that I could get over there. All right. You're welcome to lick the fork, but you have to wait for me to take more photos. I'm excited. It's not melting. <laughs> Did you think it was gonna melt? It looks nice and moist in the middle. Like, I'm okay with that. All right, all right, come try your cake. Mouse with the Super Chat says she's been agonizing over what colors to use while continuing her millionaire fan art piece. But thanks to some encouragement from Hannah, she figured she'd hashtag just go for it. Just do it, friend. Just blue, do it. Blue, fingers, blue, white, and black, right? Fingers, fingers, fingers. I'm good. What do you think? Is it everything you hoped it would be? Um, the apple one. Also, Mouse, thanks for the support. We appreciate it. I can taste the coffee in it. It's good. I like it. It tastes more. It tastes more better. Better. More better. <laughs> it tastes better than like box mix. It's really good. Mouse Queen, you have to try this. You have to try this, Mouse Queen, and use these colors for your millionaire colors. Isn't that kind of like the set colors right there? Isn't it like white and blue and black and a bunch of? Nah, 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 nah. Crystal, what would you think about it? So it's still warm. So when you take a bite, it kind of all mushes together right. in its warm, like, moistness. I'm interested to try some more tomorrow to see how it goes. Chocolate cake is not my favorite. It tastes like coffee. I don't really taste the coffee much. I could taste it. I want more frosting. That's really good. Mouse Queen, if you like coffee and chocolate, you would like this. Everybody, you guys will like this. This is good. It tastes better than like that by a taste of coffee. It tastes better than like does like box like box mix. I give it like, like a four out of like barely touch four to be nice. Like four out of five hawks. So like right at four. It was that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I need more water. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce your name right. I can't tell if it's Jean or Jeannie. I'm gonna go Jean. Jean. Jean? I, whatever it is. So she uses an espresso. Pack. I like mouse quick. Oh, the lag is real. <laughs> no, sorry. We'll wait, friends. Happened right when you said espresso, then I'll never say espresso again. They need better um, internet. My internet's just fine. We have good internet. It's not us. Our end is fine. It's a YouTube issue. All right, everyone's saying we're back. Everybody here? You good? You good? Everybody watching? So, I don't love this. Like, honestly, I don't know why the internet is losing their mind over this. I'll try it tomorrow. I liked it just fine, but it isn't, it isn't TikTok worthy. I'm not like, mad at it, but I do not understand why Reddit there, blew up over there's it. There's not enough things to it. But I thought it was great. I, I, thought, I thought it was great. I thought this would be something they'd sell in Starbucks or something like that. Okay, right, but like... 
it's not good enough. <laughs> like, we can make a better option, right? Like, I feel like we can we can do better than this. I like the Hershey's Perfectly um, Chocolate Cake better. When, when, if you're going to, like, put time into a dessert, I get doing something that's more than just a cake with topping on it. Sam's like, like what the Husky says when it's completely cool, it might change the flavor. Yeah, I will try it again tomorrow and see that. how I feel but about I, it. I liked it. I thought it was good. I liked it. Yeah, it's not bad. But I don't get why the internet lost nice their mind over it. a little kick to it. It's not anything where I'm like, oh my god, you have to try this. This is great. Like, cool. If you like chocolate cake with coffee in it, try this. If you want a good chocolate cake, try the Hershey's Perfectly Chocolate Cake that's on my Pinterest page, because I think that's better. How many crystals out of five? Like three. It's average. It's not bad. Um, I do not like that I have a coffee aftertaste in my mouth. Like, it tastes like I drank a cup of coffee. Like, it tastes like how my mom smelled when I was a kid. That coffee smell? Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan of it? No. I kind of like that little hint. So that's, yes. If you're a coffee fan, you're definitely like this. I think I'll be bringing like half of this to work, yeah? yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Because we can't, we just can't go through it that fast. Because no. then, you know, six, seven more days from now. What are we making seven more days from now? Ooh, baked cream cheese brownies. Right. So Those we have to, going to work. We gotta make, yeah. The we white gotta, chocolate brownies did not make it to work. We gotta make My mom got some. That's it. Right, right. Uh, Jim says, to be fair, I don't understand why the internet blows up over 99% of the stuff it does. I'm unhip and proud of it. Some of it's fun. <laughs> right, and like, I'm down to try. They, like, that's the thing, like, people post things on there that look really good in the old recipe subreddit. The fact that people have talked about it, it's been months, you guys. It's been multiple months that people have been talking about this and trying it, and not one person has said, eh, it's all right. Everybody has been like, oh my god, this is amazing. My new favorite chocolate cake. Maybe they like coffee? Maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe that coffee just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. This, It's not terrible. If someone brought this as a dessert to like a potluck or whatever, I'd eat a slice of it and I wouldn't be like, oh my God, what did she bring? I'd eat it. I wouldn't be mad at it. Uh, Mouse Queen talking about her uh, drawing again, risking another super chat. Thanks for the support because I'm a sucker. But anyway, the colors I'm using will be elements of purple, silver, gold, and blue. I'm just a perfectionist. I get it, friend. I get it. Uh, Mouse likes coffee and chocolate, so she might like it. Yeah? I, think, I think you would. I, if you like I coffee and think, chocolate, yeah, I think, I I think, think so. this would be your jam. Uh, mm. Mouse says her drawing is going to be purple, silver, gold, and blue. So Ooh, kind that's of good. Sort of I like that. Your suggestion. I heard red, gold, and green are popular colors. Uh, Jean or Jeannie, sorry, wants to know how much coffee we used. It was a cup of coffee. Really? Like, like measuring cup, cup of coffee. And diluting it didn't help hurt it. Uh, she also says, good to know about the Hershey's Perfectly Chocolate Cake. Can I Google it? You should be able to Google it, but also if you go to Pinterest and look up Getting Baked with Crystal, there's a board on there called Recipes I've Made on the Show, and it is on there. I have made it twice? Or just once on the show. I don't know. I make that one all the time. I discovered that recipe a long time ago. It's amazing. It's my favorite. It takes a cup of boiling water, which makes the cake so much more moist than any other chocolate cake I've ever had. Uh, Lady Cat likes espresso chocolate in beer. Yes. Okay. Right. I do too. Yeah. Sometimes uh, some of the stouts that I get are chocolate stouts and have like a coffee in it and stuff like that. Oatmeal stouts are really good. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, Christine, really good. Christine says, when people went crazy over that baked goat cheese and cherry tomato macaroni, what's the big deal? I know, right? It didn't look good. I think, is that the one Jess made? Jess, did I you make so. that? I think so. And maybe it tastes good. It did not look good to me. As an Italian, as somebody who eats all different kinds of pasta all the time, it didn't look like the best pasta to me. That wasn't something I wanted I to try. I think a lot of it's just for fun. It's just... I it's guess, like, hop on the new trend, and we're all gonna make this I thing, mean, and, th and that's that's why I did this. Like, let's be real. I already made a chocolate cake. Why did I make a different chocolate cake? Because it's the trend, and everybody said it was amazing. Yeah, it's fun. I was really hoping, like, this would be absolutely amazing. Like, oh my god, we have a new chocolate cake recipe, but I don't think so. I like it, but I'm also a fan of what you made for my birthday. Right, I like that better. And we could we could do something like that with this, where we put the cherries in it and stuff like that. But I'd rather just make the Hershey recipe. Uh, Mouse of the Super Chat says, Perfectionist slash, ob slash obsessed, as you both know. Same. <laughs> I get it, right? I get you. Jim says, I think most people are into coffees, which I could take or leave. That's the thing. That's what's getting me on this, is my mouth tastes like I drank a cup of coffee. I feel like I have coffee breath. And I'm not a huge fan of that feeling. Uh, Hannah with the Super Chat. Tip the host. Thanks so much, friend. We appreciate the support. It does help us keep the show going. And Thank care you, Hannah. Bill. 
Uh, Jess says, it calls for one cup of coffee or one cup of coffee. A standard morning cup of coffee is about six ounces and a cup is eight ounces. It said a measuring cup, like a cup of coffee. So that's what I did. And I think the texture was right. Like when I poured the liquid in and everything, the, the consistency of the cake batter was, was spot on. Uh, Foxy Koala says, try a tablespoon of coffee next time. Like when I make the cup of coffee, because I did a tablespoon, no, a teaspoon and a half. So a tablespoon, I think, would be more than that. I don't think I'm going to make this again, to be honest. I really don't think I'll, I will. If I'm going to make a chocolate cake, I'll make the Hershey's one. It's better. Uh, Uncle Yukon says, leave the coffee out next time. But see, then I have to have a liquid. So I'd replace it with water, in which case I'll just make the Hershey's cake. Like, it all comes back to the Hershey's cake. That's it. That's the go-to. Drea says, mmm, cake. I know, right? Like, it, it's good enough. I'm not a huge cake fan. So, like, it has to be pretty good for me. Like, oh, yeah, that's a good cake. But, yeah, I'd give it a three. How many, uh... Hawks, are you gonna give it? Dan? Um, I saw. I thought it crested four. Crested four, like just barely. But just barely four. Yeah. Um, I I enjoyed the unique taste of it, but I agree. If you're gonna put this much time and effort, and there's other things that you make that might that might be a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. For the effort, and you guys know, I always weigh like effort versus result. I'm with Husky Tails. Um, I would do. Would I would like the cappuccino? Would on cappuccino that. work? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not a coffee person. I really don't know. I don't know. Uncle Yukon says, yeah, then make a real chocolate cake like Hershey's. Yeah, yeah. Effort versus reward. I don't want coffee breath. That's pretty much what this all comes down to. But if you like coffee and you like devil's food cake, absolutely give it a shot. See what you think. I'd be interested to know what you guys think of this recipe. If, if it's just me because I don't like coffee, I don't know. Um, Mouse of the Super Chat says, tips host. Hey, Dan, buy yourself something nice. Thanks. I think it's going to be a new pack of Otter Pops. <laughs> yeah, a new yeah. Otter Pops. Yeah, I could use... Uh, Poncho Punch or a Sir Isaac Lime right now, or even an Alexander I think it's Isaac the Grape. The grape. Um, it's uh, no. it was Alexander the Grape. It's That's right. Sir Isaac Lime, and there's Poncho Punch lime? and Strawberry really Short to it. and um, yes, Sir Isaac Lime. He's got the monocle. Okay, the it's been a while since the I the original curve. We had knockoff ones as a kid. <laughs> I didn't right. get the real ones. They didn't have names. Uh, Gene or Genie? I'm inclined now. Like now that I'm looking at it, I feel like Just it's a Genie. One. I would, I would, I would think it was a. Ginny? You wouldn't need the extra N and the E if it was just Gene, right? Can you tell me in the chat, is it Gene E or Gene? Please tell me. I hate mispronouncing people's names. Says, I'm Italian too. I love goat cheese and tomatoes, but in pasta, not so much. Yeah, I don't like whole tomato. Like, I can handle a tomato flavoring. I like a tomato sauce, but I don't want to just chop up tomatoes and eat a tomato in my pasta. It didn't look good at all. Well, Hannah, you're going to have to Google Otter Pasta, girl. <laughs> oh, Hannah, Otter, Otter Pops? Otter Pops. About Otter Pops? Google Otter Pops. Look, it's the frozen little thing, but they had names. You can buy them Personalities. Like, you can buy them in, like, Hogan's Heroes Bricks, where there's, like, the whole nine yards all, like, linked together. Uh, M. Schberg Holly says, Mooch looks so cute. I don't think you can see him anymore. Dan, shut off that camera. Yeah, he's over there chilling. He's sprawled out. Uh, Drea wants to know, wait, real Otter Pops or Mexican Otter Pops? Because I want both. Just, I, don't, I don't know nothing about Mexican Otter Pops. Oh, see, just Popeyes. Yeah, the Popeyes is the other ones. Oh. Do you remember how big it was to get those really, how popular it was, like, in junior high or high school, to get the really, really big ones that were, like, this big around and they were super huge? The ice cream truck would always come by Pine. The ones that, like, came down to a point oh, at the bottom? Oh, no, not the Minute Maid ones. The ones that looked like, that looked like uh, Otter Pops, but they were just, like, ten times bigger, like a burrito from... Like a burrito. I'm all about the uh, Otter Pops with alcohol in them from Costco. You do have those. That's the jam. <laughs> I do have those. Oh, I'm with Jim. I love Jello Pudding Pops so much. My mom would buy them all the time for me, and just the texture, just something about the texture of Jello Pudding Pops is so good. We have Jello Pudding. Can we put them in it? We have like the the popsicle maker. Can we do that? Maybe. Does that turn into a thing? Is that somebody Google that and let me know? Can we turn pudding into an ice cream ish thing? It's milk, so yeah, ice cream, ice cream. Uh, all right. Jeannie says Jean sounds like. Genie sounds like genie. Okay, genie. I'm not going to mess it up again. Says a tablespoon is three teaspoons. You have a refined taste. During the Great Depression, water was used in a lot of water in cakes. Yeah, I've, I've seen, like, again, looking at the, the old recipe subreddit on Reddit, uh, there's a lot of, like, water cakes and... Uh, vodka doesn't remember what all of them were called. Water but cakes? Like, they make, like, ba like... During the Great Depression, when people were super poor and had no ingredients, there was, like, the most basic cake remember, recipes. Remember that one time I ate a piece of bread that was wet? 
and it was so hard to eat. Yeah, water. And you want a water cake? Yeah, it's called a water cake. Dairy free, egg free. This one's chocolate. Let's see. I'm just trying to find the uh, ingredients. Uh, being really hot and eating chocolate cake is not a good thing. Not the business? Uh, no, not at all. I just want the recipe! Ew. Oh, they're milliliters. That means nothing to me. Ew, water pie. Ew. Ew, Jess, no. Uh, Hannah with a super chat says, we had uh, knockoff Otter Pops. Me too, friend. Why isn't Otter Pops our knockoff? No, they are not. Otter Pops are top shelf. Dan, if you had it, being an only child raised by your grandparents, if you had it, it was not knockoff. I promise you. <laughs> it was not knockoff. Those of us who had siblings and younger parents, we had the knockoffs. Come on, where's your dang recipe? Give me the water cake recipe. I think it's called water pie, so it's Two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder. This one's a water cake. Um, three quarter cup sugar, a cup of water, a quarter cup of canola or olive oil. They're not particular on this one. You use what you have. It does not matter. You so can it's use, like mud cake. You can use your vegetable or your olive oil in this one, apparently. False. Don't use olive oil to bake any sort of cake or pie. Uh, so it's mud cake. Two teaspoons of vanilla and a yeah, tablespoon of lemon zest. Don't use olive oil. Don't use all of Don't use all of them. I mean, it doesn't look bad, I guess. Oh, I see oh, it. We don't have that camera. It just looks like a, like your standard cake. Like, it doesn't look bad at you all. You hold it straight out. Like, sort of. Yeah. yeah. Yes, thank you, Misty Fan Name Jen. If you guys haven't already, please hit that thumbs up underneath the video. It does help our video, it helps our channel, it helps us. It makes it better. Uh, Sally M says water pie was a thing too. It's called water pie, not cake. No, there's both, Jess. Both exist. What's water pie? More nasty. I see people talk about the, I'm Googling it now. Um, I see people talk about the water cake a lot on, uh, Reddit. Uh, water pie is the one from the Great Depression. Uh, pie crust, one and a half cups water, four tablespoons flour, a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and five tablespoons of butter. That sounds terrible. Who's ever... <laughs> <laughs> There's, where's the flavor? I'll take the mug, Katie. Where is the flavor? I mean, I guess you have a cup of sugar, but you have more water than sugar. No. No, it looks terrible. Who has ever tried this? Uh, honestly, it almost looks like milk bar pie. But I'm sure it doesn't have the same kind of flavor. Uh, Sally M says olive oil cake is a thing too. See, Dan made cupcakes with olive oil instead of vegetable oil one time, and they were terrible. So maybe if the recipe is designed for it, it they works. Were muffins. But were they muffins? They were muffins. You did make muffins out of them. Hannah's had water pie. Becky's had water pie. What did you guys think? Tell me your impression. Wait, Jess has had water pie. Wait. I I need opinions on what you guys think of water pie. Should I make a water pie? That sounds terrible. Yeah, I'm done with after that milk bar pie. Uh, we should go back to the basics. <laughs> the milk bar pie was yeah. so good. Hannah says, meh. <laughs> I get it. Like, oh yeah, that's a dessert. It has sugar in it, but eh. And Jess says it's not bad. Jim says water pie sounds like a joke, right? Like like when you were kids and people would make mud pies? <laughs> Becky says it wasn't bad. It mostly tastes like vanilla and butter. I can see that because those are the only two flavors it has. <laughs> There's like nothing else going on there. I felt like we did that. I felt like we tasted mostly butter with the milk bar pie. Yes. I, I yeah, know. Jess also says you taste mostly butter. Hannah says I feel like everyone should try it. It's different. I don't know that I'm gonna add that to my list. <laughs> I don't think I'm a fan. Are we done? Yep. Yeah, you all set? All right, guys, I'm gonna go get some real food, try to cool down a little bit. Thank you all so much for joining me in this making of Nana's Devil's Food Cake, which was not as good as the internet makes it seem. Sorry, internet. Should I post a picture on Reddit and tell people I don't know what their hype is all about? <laughs> Will I get hate mail for that? I don't know. 
I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, go like Eating Baby from Crystal on Instagram, on Facebook. I post the recipes. Next week, we are making ube cream cheese brownies. Ube cream cheese brownies. Really excited for that one. On Wednesday, we're making chicken and waffles. We'll see how that turns out. Um, Tomorrow's Dantics. Tomorrow's Dantics, yes, 6 p.m. Everything happens at 6 p.m. Pacific. Tomorrow's Dantics, call in and win. Check out our merch. Thank Go check the, the things. Thank you guys all so much for the super chat. It really does help us, so we appreciate it so much. We love all you guys. Thank you all for showing up, for interacting, for being here, for being you. Stay Thanks, cool. guys. See you later.